welcome to the Hearing Life Tour Challenge for Grand Slam of Curling. You're live from the Bell Alliance Center in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. 16 men's teams, 16 women's teams vying for the right to declare themselves champion at this first Grand Slam event of the season. Tyler George here with three-time world champion Brent Lang, 16-time slam champion Brent. You've won a few of these things, very familiar with the atmosphere. Yeah, these are the, the best events in the world, always have been, and uh, just, you know, best against best from around the world, and I think I won a lot of those when uh, before the teams got really good, and I just happened to be on the right, uh, the right squads. <laughs> a few of us figured out uh, the right time to step away, I think, yeah, but uh, as you mentioned, uh, Brett, a bunch of these guys, uh, the unretired team uh, for Team Jacobs uh, spent some time away and then decided they, uh, they needed to come back. We did not have that problem. Not yet. No, you never never say never, but I think uh, I think that's uh, that's come and gone. But yeah, the, the fake retirement, the Mark Kennedy fake retirement to cut us, you know, Ben and Kevin and I, and then Brad Jacobs. At least it was family for Brad. I mean, it's hard to cut your family, but uh, I don't know what Mark's <laughs> excuse was. But no, they were they were too good to retire, and uh, it's it's pretty cool to see them. Mark and, and uh, Brad obviously having a great run together a couple of years ago, and now back together and uh, dealing with. Uh, you know, some of the best teams in the world trying to get back to being on top. Yeah, these two teams obviously very familiar with each other from as many times as they've played on tour. And, uh, right, you're familiar with both as well. Uh, what, to, what do we expect to see today from these teams uh, on the offensive-defensive side of things? Yeah, well, I think if you expect to see a ton of great shots. It is the first first game, and as you and I were talking before the game, if you're going to if you're going to knock off one of the top seeds, sometimes it happens in the first game. That, you know, the ice is new for everybody. Everybody's just kind of getting settled in. So you want to, if you have to choose to play the one of the best teams in the world, which, uh, you know, by all rights, Jacobs should be, then maybe early is the way. So I, I think you're going to see aggression on both sides. You know, John never backs away from rocks and play. He'll, he'll always mix it up. And I know in talking with Brad, um, he wasn't a huge fan of the, the old botcher team with, with these three guys, uh, how they played the game. And Brad has a bit different of a, a philosophy, nothing against Brendan. I mean, obviously that worked for him for a lot of years. But uh, Brad's, Brad's made it pretty clear that he's going to use the, the tools a little differently with this, uh, this new team. And team fit, as you mentioned, Brent, so important that the, the players play into your style of play. And I think for, for both of these skips, they have that with the lineups they have in play. With Team Schuster, they've had some shuffling. Uh, early in the season with a five-man team. They're just traveling with four this week. Uh, but I, I think, as you said, uh, we expect both teams to mix it up, get some rocks and play and from the commentary side of things and the broadcast side of things. That's what we like to see. Yeah, no, I don't think they'll make our job too hard. And if it does get too hard, we'll just let Ben and Matt do the talking, as they, they often do. It should be an entertaining game from start to finish, both with personalities, shot-making, and strategy. So I'm excited that this is the... The first game uh, I get to be a part of, I think this is a great start. We will get the lineups to you eventually here. We get the, uh, the graphics up. But we can talk about these teams in the meantime. And, and Brent, if you want to go through uh, Team Jacobs and uh, the lineup that they have going for this season again, there you see Brad Jacobs at skip, Mark Kennedy at third, Brett Gallant at second, Ben Hebert at lead. Sometimes we talk about how hard it is to keep up with these squads with all the lineup changes, but all sure. champions in, in their own right. But uh, you really like the fit with this squad. I do. I, I think they, they look to, uh, you know, to Brad to come in and, and put his stamp on it, his aggression both strategy-wise and just in, in life, his energy and his, you know, his, you know, just everything about Brad screams winner, and uh, I think that's what they really were after. And Again, nothing against uh, Brendan, but uh, I think this this attitude fits better. Pretty close. A little bit of rope. And for Pretty Team close. Schuster, you see John Schuster at skip. Chris Plies at third. Colin Huffman at second. And for this week, Matt Hamilton will be at lead. John Landsteiner taking the week off at home, I'm sure, watching. And uh, very excited to have the commentary from me, as always, because I, I talk to him half the time when, uh, when he's at home. This is habit from the old playing days. But, uh, yeah, John's team this season, second in Okotoks after playing three events, their only playoff run, but coming off one of their best performances, actually the best performance of the season for them, for Team Jacobs, the 2014 Olympic gold medals. The points bet invitational finished third and fifth at the Okotoks Classic. So both teams just kind of ramping things up with a slow start to the season, but... With the slam, this is where you really want to get things going. 
these will be the these will be the events that Team Jacobs and all these teams have circled on the calendar, right? You're getting ready for these, the big money, the big points, and uh, the big pride. Top four. So as advertised, we're uh, right after it here. Um, see if Benny can make this freeze, throwing up the center guard right away, getting some stuff going. They'll be. They over, didn't really oversweep the draw of the button, just kind of overcurled a bit, and then uh, Johnny put it on the on the button to get the hammer. And there is lead Ben Hebert playing the intern, Brent. A little surprise there, starting out. It's interesting, you know, everybody... And it's funny, though, Tyler, because everybody used to say, you know, out turn, out turn, out turn, and he's famous for saying you only need one turn when it's world class. That's right. But uh, quite often his intern ran truer than his out turn in my experience, which was, similar way. you know, it's everybody jokes he can't throw an intern. He's pretty good, pretty good player still. Ben would be the first one to tell you he's pretty good still too. But <laughs> how does Matt okay. like play and lead, Tyler? Obviously, you know these guys Seven. really well. A uh, bit of a change for him. Yeah, same. yeah Matt played lead for a, a long time in his competitive career too. Won the. Uh, junior World Championship with Chris Flies as a lead, and when they shifted over to men's, was playing the lead position as well. It's uh, not the first time he's played lead in the slam either. I can tell you the 2016 players, when uh, Lance Steiner was not able to play uh, during a charity event, uh, chemically affected conversation, we uh, recruited Pat Simmons to play second for us. Nice. And uh, Hamilton played lead for that event. So I, I can tell you I learned more about curling, like, from the on-ice perspective that week playing with Pat Please than lead. just about any tournament I ever played. And just to, the attention to detail and the little things, what Pat brings to the table, just a, a fantastic experience. So, And Matt was fine stepping back to lead for you know, a guy of Pat's caliber, obviously. Looks heavy. So miss there from Matt on the second one, open up the chance for Brett to follow Benny down and really put some heat on Schuster, but it seems like it's getting... Brad the first with the swear jar, but really nailing the ice there, getting straighter and faster as it really? tends to do in the first end. Yeah, if you had under one half end for the first swear jar for this game, then you're a winner. Did you hear Brad say that he thought it's getting straighter with every shot already on that side? And not unusual, Brent, on the wall side of these sheets at slams to see it be a little bit straighter there. Didn't really seem to be the case with the first draw on the opposite side on sheet D, but uh, the player's are already questioning the curl on that intern side going down. The interesting, this one probably still will curl and be really light because he's going to be off the path here. This is a tough, yeah. Straight. Not sure I like the call. That's such a hard shot in the first end, especially when you're seeing guys yeah, missing wide and heavy. Way yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Declaring the obvious there, he wanted him to throw that one harder. <laughs> I don't think they wanted him to tap it to Frozen on the top of the button. Yeah. Yeah. Huge trouble now for uh, John and the fellas. Yeah, that is a pile of yellow stones in the top of the forefoot. Same ice cups. An unfortunate thing for Schuster here, Brent, is if that rock had never been thrown, then where they bumped it to is probably where Brad would have called it on the next shot. It's true. It's almost a two for one here. All of the angles bad for Schuster. I mean, hit that left yellow one anywhere. The shot rock's gone. Gentle early. Line's good. And if he puts this in the right spot, they're probably only going to be able to get one yellow out with a run back. Okay. Easy then, Mark. Quick, curl, down, curl, Brett Gallant down, curl, with this baby, intern draw, hard, which we've seen a few times already this end. Keep hard, going. Hard. Keep going. And well placed okay, by good. Brett. And Brett, we've, we've seen yeah. at a position that you played as well, too, too that over the last 10, 15 like years Andrew. especially, the intern, second intern, has really intern. become like the third with the is shot selection no, and it's it's the variety of shots you yeah. need to be made. And I think Brett has reached that level probably quicker than yeah, anyone else in the, the highly competitive teams, but throws every shot as, as well as any other second in the world. No question. And not again, not getting the yeah, curl. Yeah. This does open up a chance for Colin. If he does hit this right, he can get rid of probably three of the yellows. Doesn't sound great. Again, with the commentary nailing it, I do think that was not good. Yeah. Saves himself from the swear jar as well. 
And not unusual to see teams struggle with ice first end of any tournament. But slam ice, as we talked about coming in, Brent is very particular. You kind of know what to expect coming in, and I think it plays more to the release for Team Jacobs than it does for Team Schuster, where you really need to stick that handle out of your hand, get that follow through. Otherwise, I mean, we're seeing these these narrow misses, especially early from Team Schuster. It's definitely a spot where you can't you can't be yelling hard line early. That's not going to be a, a good result. You got to get it running. You know that that baby set that everybody talks about. You watch how Mount and the boys throw it. That's, that's more than a baby set, but you know Mark and. And Brad both throw it so similar, extra handle, nice and positive, tracks tracks early, and then they can put it where they want late. But Now, you won't see the rotation from these teams that you'd see from Team Mowat in our first game, but you won't see anybody really throw it the way that they do. Really well placed there. So how is Schuster going to get out of this one? So, I mean... Obviously, there's. Well, that's why we pass it over to the analyst there, no right? <laughs> they're still running it. I mean, they got to blow that up. Any contact in there, even if you lose the red one's probably better. Well, just get I'm it just over with. Bad, so just throw well. It'll run good. Some good, honest information from Colin there. You don't want to say, oh, it curls a mile here. You got to be honest and say, I hooked that in there. Yeah, yeah. As, as humorous as it sounds on the feed, that's really important to have that honesty so you know where to broom for the shot. Oh. Not bad. It does open the front up as well as losing yeah. one. So all three of those go now. They're loaded. Better than it was, and Colin seems to think that the angles play into all yellows really going. Result. It also took that little angle off of red, so it's not easy yeah, to it hit anything yeah. yellow and kill that red. I thought, and I thought you threw it. Yeah, I pumped it like yeah. that. Yeah. I threw that a couple times yesterday, though, with the outer. This one. So you can hear the guys trying to map the ice. Early again on the runners, you're going to get a little curl later in the game. Even if he threw that again now, it probably wouldn't curl as much. Experience will play. I mean, nobody on this sheet's new to these events or new to this kind of pressure and stage, obviously. We need to keep it on that side of the line. You're thinking similar weight? Same weight. So this is all about protecting that triple. Guarding, as weird as it sounds, guarding fourth shot. Because that's the one that helps John get all those yellows moving. Mark Kennedy second of this first end of action. Same way. Southpaw's Four out five. turn draw. Four I heard five. Skip Four. Brad Jacobs talking five. about this line getting straighter with every shot as this first end is going. I don't think he wants to leave the second shot open. If they could ever get to that and stick, you're going to be first and third. And so... It does I'm guard sure that number four. It. He's still going to run it, eh? As you mentioned, Brent, that's the rock that they need to make contact with to get all these moving. They do have a hammer, so they're just trying to position themselves to have some kind of shot to score. Although, if there is a guard missed at some point, or they can get a few of these moving, they do have two counters in the house. Could lie, too, here. See if Chris is up to the challenge. Needs some yeah. speed. Looks like he got the weight right. First flies, 2008 junior world champion. Sorry, man. Okay. And again, Brent, we're going to be a broken record on it, but the early miss is on the narrow okay. side. Right. I wonder if Brad's going to switch and hit this red one. He's got to be a little bit nervous that those are lined up like that. Yeah, you're probably killing any chance for your opponent to score two by hitting that stone. Still got a triple on us here. So I was like, well, how aggressive do you yeah, want to play? But if he rolls it all, then we made up a double the life. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just a, a little bit higher than Mark's. Yeah. So the perfect spot would be just above that logo. Yeah. 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 Speed here, boys. It's quick. It's fucks. It feels like a 14-7, 14-8. You heard 14-7, 14-8. That's very similar to what we heard for the first draw as well. And the Rock's really not gliding all that much either, Brent. We've seen them just kind of, again, not unusual for slam ice at all. Carry until the very end and then just kind of grind to a halt. 
So you can hear they are they are worried about this run back. They know that if John makes the great ones, they want this one a little bit higher. Four. Plant trying to get this to finish. Very good placement there. I think more than any other team, Team, team Jacobs switches the angle of their brooms. They've got about three or four different sweeping techniques. Well, you saw what we call knifing at the beginning of that from Brett and then switching just to the flat brush finish to try to carry the rock as well. So maybe trying to get it to turn first and then finish on that line afterwards. Yeah, I think the knife they think does slow it down a little and then they've got the, the more traditional kind of plow that tracks, you know, keeps it going and finishes it. And then they've got something that is not loved by all the players where they do kind of a, a slow knife dump, carve, not sure what it is, but they definitely want to slow it down when they're doing that, which not a lot of teams are really in love with. We joke in the, the broadcast booth about, again, 15, 20 years ago, sweeping is never something that we had to check up on. It's been the same for 400 years. And now every week I feel like I have to ask the current players what's the new thing that they're doing. Right? Speaking of sweepers, Colin Huffman, one of the best in the world, helps that he's like six foot ten or however tall he is. I mean, out turn, soft weight hit from Schuster coming around. Good call, anyway. See, so close to real good, but still pretty good. Yeah, there may be a hole to clear both of those stones, or at least get them both moving. Here, we might leave them a, a double because if that's if that's if that goes too far, right? Uh, I feel like the shot might just be. I can make this double broad a little bigger than you think. I know. You're hitting there. I know. So, so I, I think you're just planting normal. Because we don't want to kill that. We don't want to kill it. What makes this mark? I'm thinking like, like right there is what makes it. Right there. I think we're in a fucking hole. Yeah, I mean, they can double first. Or... Brett yep. just filling up the swear jar. Eh? I mean, this team was always going to win the swear <laughs> jar competition. Uh, but I didn't think they were going to win it in the first game of the year. Brett taking the early lead yeah. is a bit of a surprise, too. Okay. Well, you play with Benny for two, three, four years. It's just inevitable. <laughs> it's osmosis. This double's tough. They, like they said, you got to hit it thinner than you think. They are throwing. It looks like... They were worried about killing the top one, bring that back eight one, but I think Mark kind of figured it out. If we just let it go low, roll right in there, there won't be really a double and stay on the yellows, and they'll probably lie too. John, I think we'll have a double to score, though. We'll skip Brad Jacobs, outturn double attempt. A little tight to the guard here. Ooh, fortunate where that's stopped. Yeah, that's, that's a good result there. That red stone stopping in the back of the eighth foot be a catcher. Going to force John to draw here. I don't think he has much choice. Yeah. They got pretty lucky where that went. So I don't think we have to go out there to win out. Because he could have noticed that one, maybe. Yeah, if that went out, there would have been a double for two, maybe. Yeah, you only got an inch of space. He knows it to give him one. It didn't get to center anyway. What is it, Adam? All right, let's make this draw. His second one was like 13 so I'm not sure if they're lying. I don't think he's on the two. Button, right? No, or 14, but it's getting faster every John time. said he thought one. Because Colin said maybe he knows it and give him one, but I don't think, well. think that works. I think it's up to that speed on this line. Because it's all the draws on. Yeah, 14, 5, 15, 14, 6. Sounds good. It's enough to get back and to give him one, but... So, yeah, back. John does think they're lying, okay. too, if they need yeah, that backing. So, big shot here early in the game, and... Just kind of in trouble right from the get-go. Um, you know, Matt rolling off on that first freeze and never really recovering. Final shot of this first end. Nine-time U.S. champion, five-time Olympian John Schuster. Playing intern draw to the side of the button for one. Stay close, both of you, though. They can accept giving one at this point. May need backing with this, though. All right, John. 
Yeah, they'll settle to the back one, and they do give up the points. A very acceptable result for Team Schuster here in this first end of action. Our feature game will be right back. When you've conquered another game, a long day, a job well done, and the final work call, where your place? Come as you are and fit in comfortably. Mr. Mice, eat locally, enjoy casual. When it comes to the game we love, having the right gear makes all the difference. Boldline's new curling shoes and brooms are a game changer. The shoes, unbelievably comfortable. And the brooms, lightweight and effective, giving you control on every sweep. When I step onto the ice, I'm not just prepared, I look sharp. Have you seen these shoes? They are a game changer. And the brooms? Light as a feather. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. Welcome back to the Hearing Life Tour Challenge, live from Charlottetown PEI. I'm Brent Lang, along with Tyler George, and we off to a, an exciting start. Mostly, most excitement in curling comes from misses, I think, Tyler. And we saw a couple early from uh, Team Schuster. And uh, Jacob's able to capitalize and kind of steal that hammer back up 1-0. And uh, we'll keep Benny happy. He hates losing that hammer. Nobody wants the hammer more than Ben Hebert. Doesn't need to curl. Ellie Hebert gets to throw another center draw here on this intern side. That Hoping that it stays good. on the center line. May have just left it, so in Brent for the novice viewer, explain uh, the no tick zone rule. Yeah, well, I'll try. It's a little confusing to me. I'm a fan of just no tick anywhere. Then we don't have to worry about the center line. But for uh, the first first handful of rocks to the end, if the rock is touching that center line, which goes right down the center of the sheet, and you move it off that center line, your rock comes off, and that one goes back. Just another rule that was tested at the slams to just increase the excitement and the aggression and the number of rocks in play at the at the best events in the world. These are made for TV, so we're trying to make the best products we can, and I think that's, you know, in theory, it, it works well. And the one thing they were concerned about, Brent, with the, the no-tick zone rule was for the final ends of play, they didn't want to change the result of the game too much from having the advantage of last shot tied up, but they wanted to make the end more exciting. And from what we've seen from the results on tour, that's exactly what they've gotten. The, the difficulty level of the final shots that we've seen in these games has risen, but the percentage of games won by the team with Hammer has stayed very close to where it was before. That, so yeah? that's the ideal situation. It's perfect, but it's definitely changed the last ten. Like, the best leads in the world got so good that the chip shot was almost like a peel. Like, it was 99% made. And then the skip just has to kind of draw the eight-footer hit and stay, and it wasn't super exciting. Uh, but, yeah, like you say, now it's very rare that a team can really run. Even tied with. And the rules changes between the five rock rule, the no tick zone rule, again, to make the game more fun to watch, more fun to commentate as well. But Brent, in our heyday, in the four rock rule, if you got late in the game, you could pretty much project the entire end if the shots were made, and that's not the case anymore at all with five rock. No, nope. totally agree. All great, great changes to the game. It's a much, much better product, and I think it's, it's led to much better shot making too I mean you're required at every position the joke used to be when I started you know you need a good skip a good third and you know a couple of plumbers at front end and that was Savile and Lang back <laughs> in the day but now you just you can't have a single even minor crack in the in the lineup it's just not possible it's too precise up and down the lineup which is awesome to see okay. nice hack weight shot there from Hamilton on the outturn side just skinny in the guard you heard them discuss too Brent before that shot that between Brad and John, if that rock was touching the center line. Now, John wants to know that before the shot because if it does over curl and wreck, he can move that stone if it's not on the center. So he can be a little more aggressive with the shot call as well. So, but needs that confirmation from the opposing skip to make sure. Yeah, otherwise it's just a mess. One guy says no, it was touching, the other guy says it wasn't. I like 12. So a little different start here. No mistakes yet. 
you know, chasing and cool. threw up the corner guard. Yeah, I, I like the nice. corner guard play. How do you feel, Tyler, when you're trying to Feels like it's running nice. make yeah. that deuce? It seems like you get in way less trouble when you throw the corner guard, as silly as that sounds. Yeah, it's, it's interesting with Five Rock to see how often the centers are thrown and never used because teams figured out fairly quickly they have to play more aggressive in the center of the sheet with center guards, with single centers, double centers, so that you're going to have to move those stones at some point, and you have to get more creative to use the corners as opposed to, again, with four rock, throw one up, throw the second one up, whichever, or just going around it immediately. Now if you're throwing a corner, almost every time you're seeing teams throw two instead of one. Yeah, the game has, has definitely changed. This is, this is a shot that separates the best team from the really good teams. The weight control, the line calling, the sweeping, the, the managing of this. Hack weight, hit and roll, buried. Because somebody's going to get one buried. And if it's Schuster, a real good chance at two. If it's Jacobs, they got a real good chance of forcing. Sometimes you could have just said clean. Mm -hmm. I think we get into that sweeping just madness, and that was a little bit there, back and forth. Curl straight, curl straight, which used to mean clean. Don't fall on it. Yeah, and the, the inexperienced teams especially, and you'll see it at the top levels as well, but as you said, instead of just cleaning, you know, they're so concerned about now that we're able to carve stones and get them to turn over, then we should use that ability as opposed to, well, let's just, if it's thrown well, just watch let's, it let's let minute. it go. Yeah, don't, don't mess up my shot. I'll be filling up that swear jar again. Another chance for Colin. Both teams over curling just a little bit for that roll, but you can hear Colin saying a little hair, uh, hair tight. And one thing you don't have to worry about with Colin, he will be completely honest about his throw. You know, if, you, if he knows he was tight, he'll say it. If you tell him he was tight, he'll accept it. You know, I played a few years with him. I never had to worry about if Colin was going to tell me the truth or accept what we had to tell him about the line. It's a big... A big positive for any teammate. You got to have that, and it's it's not it doesn't come natural. People don't want to take the blame. They want to fix the blame and not the problem. Just <laughs> So I would expect Mark to be really close here ever after having seen a couple of these. Talking to Brad, he brought the weight down. He said 11, a little bit lighter, I think. Sounds like it's a pressure on the sweeping call now. One of the all-time greats, Mark Kennedy, with that perfect hit and roll. As you said, Brent, no surprise. Mark is as good as they come with, with those types of shots. Now gets Schuster chasing again. You see that, that carve with the little bit of knifing to get that to turn over at the end, but, but just on the finish with that shot, which you can accept. And the earlier you're doing it, the harder it is to figure out exactly what effect it's going to have on the stone. And you're projecting 100 feet down the sheet. We still don't really know. We yeah. know what we think we see. And part of it could be, you know, the old self-fulfilling prophecy, but we can definitely make rocks curl. Okay. Just papers by on that run back attempt from Plies. Does roll to open things up, so no danger for Team Jacobs here, just guarding their number one counter, but a couple corners if they leave a side open for Schuster to possibly play a soft weight hit and roll to either side. Now, is John going to switch here? Is he going to play the freeze on the next one and try and make a deuce? Looks like a force. You keep running, you're not going to do anything but get forced. That uh, rolled to what I would call the perfect angle raise spot, the old Schusty outturn butter. He does like those angle runs on the outturn side. I can attest to that. Clean. Uh, I don't think Jacobs has a choice here but to guard, but yeah. Four. Keep going. Now Four. with no Keep second going. counter in the house Keep for Jacobs to worry about. Keep going, Ben. Straightforward Four. call, throwing half, the center Four. guard. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Good mark. Good job. I think, Brent, not one that you and I are ever going to be on, but Mark Kennedy basically year in, year out on the all-hair team. <laughs> sure. Well coiffed, as always. Yeah. Takes a lot of time, though. Pretty fella. <laughs> His you prep like time is a little longer than the rest of the squad. You like 12? <laughs> sure. <laughs> this track should be good. Yeah. Go to pitch. Yeah. 
And Chris Plies, you got to call him the chameleon on tour. He's got he's the good. most looks of all time. You never know what he's going to show up. Makes it all look good, but he's got a lot of different styles. This is a tough shot, too. We'll see if Hoffman can hold this and get by the guard. Uh, uh, Schuster getting off it just at the end to try to move it farther, but will it stay in the house? Perfect weight. Good. Yeah, that's what that weight does. That's actually a good result there for Schuster. That see, weight control, as you mentioned, Brett, wrecking the guard still keeps it in play. You can see Brad's shoulders drop a little bit there when it stopped. It's like, well, we've had you all in. And now we're looking at that red rock on the blue dot, and we're thinking, that's coming in eventually. I'm going to have to lie two on my last, but for now I'm going to guard this up and see if Schuster will run it. Maybe I can hit to lie two. Veteran third throw. That's a veteran third right there. Don't overthrow it. <laughs> if that's heavier and ticks and goes through the rings, it's useless. Like, not useless, but it's so much worse. That kicker is uh, making Team Jacobs nervous. I think I aged about five years when Mark said it was a veteran third throw for Chris Plies as <laughs> I was there when he was 12 in juniors and teaching him how to slide. So We're not going to do math in the booth up here. About ages. Of that. No, that wasn't part of the contract. We're good. I still see Kevin Cooey out there. We're fine. <laughs> Brad Jacobs, first stone here in the second end after stealing one in the first. 1 0 lead. He's the curl. Just short of the line. It's the curl. He's the curl. Got a curl against Brad. Not a goal, Brad. D. Harder, Brad. Hard, Brad. Hard, Brad. Come on, Brad. Jacobs imploring. This is Grant to get it to carve. Yeah, got it to cover that port. That's a good shot. I think that did it. Good sweep. It's such a weapon to have a sweeper like that. Obviously, for that team, having two. Either side, you don't have to worry about which one's on the stone. It's an inch away. You're starting to see that more and more. You look at the Italian team and you know the, the Twin Towers. And then the... Pablo from Switzerland, he does both sides. I was just going to uh, say, yeah, that's, you don't need two when you got him going both ways. What happened to the, the curling, that sport for like 5'8", you know, average looking dudes? <laughs> that's kind of come and gone. I, I, I was born in the right era. We, we found our time. <laughs> right? we, were, we were born at the correct time. Thank you to our parents. Schuster playing the outturn run. John does love the outturn for this shot. Sounds plugged. Good call. Good try, Steve. Shot, John. Uh, sticks it in and stays, so eyelash away from try, making the run and losing both. Sneaky. Now kind of a tricky setup here for Schuster. Way, we're kinda, we're kinda yeah. okay. And Brett, with where these rocks are set up, you see where Brad's placing his broom. If they make that draw there, there's not a real good way in for John. I wouldn't mind him trying to come through that hole. They're just kind of the in-between paths like we saw in the first end on Colin Huffman's shot where he's throwing a hack waiter and ended up with, like, back four. The in-between paths here, the, the, the ice starts off crisp. Lots of pebble. Starts off fairly slow and then gets to good. And if you're in-between paths, which they haven't really seen this one a ton this wide, I think he's going to have to throw this a little harder. As long as he's somewhere in the rings, he avoids disaster. Yeah, you can hear him say it's a guess. I don't like this out. I think Brett's as good as anybody at uh, the paths across the ice and giving, you know, quick, concise info. Cost me a briar one time when he told Gushu in St. John's that it was like eight feet heavier. Still think that rock would have stopped without the crowd tilting the building. But I think a lot of us thought that that rock was going to stop. Watch the hog line, I swore it was going to. But they all got what they wanted, except for those four guys in those Team Canada jackets. You got thousands of people blowing that direction. I mean, it might make that much of a difference. We're going to see it again in December. We're heading to St. John's. Can't wait. So Jacob's playing this intern draw around the outside. Again, they said they weren't real confident in the path, Brent, but they really wanted Schuster playing the port instead of this shot around the outside. This looks like it's coasting now. We do see them grind to a stop. Get this right on the T line. Just over curled for the chase. You can see uh, Brad says curl the mile. And it does. That fresh pebble usually curls a little more, but a little wider. It sometimes goes to the same spot. 
Yeah, just a hair deeper than they wanted. So it gives Schuster the option of which side he wants to play. It came out the other side quite a bit more than we could tell actually from the last shot. So yeah, mostly open. So that broom tells me, Brent, they're probably playing around hack. Is it borderline too much though? It's borderline too much. Yeah, like if, if I saw an 11 out of you, I'd be worried with that broom. Yeah, 11-5 he said, which I'm not a professional on the numbers, Tyler. I don't know about you, but I was more of a hack board control normal kind of. 11-5 should be a solid hack to board. That's a heavy draw, I know that. That's too hard for draw. <laughs> Final stone, second end. John Schuster throwing this outturn board weight shot against two. Looks good coming in here. Sweepers like it. Flies likes it. Just cleaning in. And that will be a single for Schuster. They tie this game up. 1-1 one, one after two ends of play in our feature matchup. I've stood at the pinnacle of curling and battled in the most intense games. Out on the ice, there's no room for compromise. And when the pressure's on, every millimeter counts. It's not just a game. It's about maximizing performance, pushing limits, seizing victory. When victory hangs in the balance, I know what I'm relying on. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. When you've conquered another game, a long day, a job well done, and the final work call, where your place? Come as you are and fit in comfortably. Mr. Mice, eat locally, enjoy casual. When it comes to the game we love. Third end of action here at the Grand Slam of Curling Hearing Life Tour Challenge. Feature matchup, John Schuster versus Brad Jacobs brought to you by Home Team Live. Myself, Tyler George, and 16-time Grand Slam champion, Brent Lang. And Brent, we talk about slam ice being fairly consistent, knowing what to expect coming in. Seems as though Team Jacobs has got a hold of it a little bit quicker than Team Schuster. But talk about you know, how important it is to get that feel, on, especially on conditions where it's such a sharp break on the ice. Yeah, that's always the key in any event, especially at, at the slams. And that's why the first games are, are sometimes challenging because you're a little bit unsure. And uh, But yeah, I think a big, big win for Schuster in this game was winning that draw to the button because they got off to a slow start. And, uh, you know, we're sitting here at 1-1. And if it was Jacobs with the hammer in the first, it could be a completely, completely different game. But that draw to the button being so, so important uh, to keep, uh, you know, keep it close early. But Schuster's team will, they probably have a good map of the ice now, made it bunch of good shots last end and uh, I would expect lots of aggression here a bit of a weird start the off center guard by accident and then back eight so still we're not seeing perfection just yet but and you see that come around draw by team Jacobs to the back of the eight foot Brent you think that was kind of the intentional unintentional shot there where you know, we're yeah. calling it to top four, but we're throwing it to back eight. The old, that's, that's the only way to get a three is you, you need that's your lead right. to go back eight or back 12, right? So I don't think so, but Benny didn't punch the ice, so maybe it wasn't <laughs> on purpose. I don't, I don't know. And they kind of got what they would hope for then, too, the, the half miss from Hamilton. And now, again, long end, but that is how you set up that three, starting out back of the eight foot as opposed to that top four draw. It's true, and, and this is now very... Simple start, zero danger, but good chance for multiple points here. Here you see Hebert playing the intern. That's all he's throwing his interns today. I'm going to have to ask him if they've made him change. Ah, this is really something. <laughs> we got another swear jar. I love this team. <laughs> Living up to the billing. They don't disappoint. Rex the guard, but does stay in play and actually going to spin it onto the rings. The Wiley vet. Great call there by Jacobs as well. Again, getting something out of nothing with that. Pro side misses by the professionals. It's going to be a simple end from here on out, but a dangerous one for Schuster. Looks yeah, very highly likely that there's going to be a 
chance for two here. It's a, it's a great setup for Jacobs with zero danger, but multiple rocks in the house. You can play zero or two the entire end without any fear. And a little early to be playing odd end, even end, but you know, playing zero two in the third in an eight end game, still not a bad thing for a team with hammer. I think if I'm Schuster, I wanted to roll that right over there and get it over with, get everything close together. I know he's trying to keep them spread out, but the longer it stays like this, the more the advantage goes for Team Jacobs. The later in the end, the fewer chances Schuster gets to get out of it. Hit and roll way over there. Let them make a double and lie two, and at least the yellows are close. Jacobs, Team Jacobs will lie two at some point in this end. I just feel it coming unless, oh, unless Brett's high here and rolls out. This is straight on the draws. Need to get this on the paint, but that's not going to happen. So, oh boy, just fooled on the ice there, and I jinxed them. Sorry, they're not going to. I meant Schuster's about to lie too. you might. <laughs> Doesn't sound like they hated the throw at all. Fred had that one run really straight on the draw too. I'm wondering if that's a stone. First, we first one in the first end. We did see that line run a little straight That's in the okay. outside coming off the wall you know, earlier, you know, too. I know, whatever you like, Johnny. I don't know that I like anything a lot, so. No, it's still not a good situation for that. Schuster. There's going to tap us around, probably. What's that? It's okay. It's okay. They're just going to tap us to a wall. I think you need to hit yeah, the yellow but, one. Is, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I'd rather be here I don't know that you have much to gain so from playing yeah, a draw right, right now. But if we can just stick here, it's probably okay. I don't think I'm real concerned about Just sticking either. I mean, if you bite, great, but. This is where in curling, maybe you should be able to turn to Brad. John turns to Brad and say, you good, good with the blank? We good? I'm yeah. good with the blank, and you can make a deal. Good. I think that's the most likely outcome now. I don't think they'll take on a freeze. I think they'll make a couple doubles here and try and blank the end. Like you said, third end. and Nothing, nothing, nothing. An important thing, too, is if you're Team Jacobs, you would take this result 10 times out of 10 in this yep. situation. Would you like to score four? Sure. Sure. But you start the end off, say, we're going to give you this setup this halfway through the end. You're playing for the blank all day, and you're, you're riding free. You're good. So it will be a double attempt here from Brett Gallant playing the out turn. Hometown hero this week, right? Originally I suppose from he is, yeah. Him and Lauren Lennon sign. The two local heroes. And of course well our friend Robbie Doherty. Yeah. Another local hero. You may hear Robbie's voice from time to time, whether he has a mic or not, throughout <laughs> the course of this week. Especially at the Grand Slam of karaoke. He's got to be leading that. <laughs> Have you seen the belt that he brought for that? The I championship did. belt? I did, yeah. That thing weighs about 20 pounds, too. That's legit. WWF fan from way back. Big wrestling fan. I can tell you he's brought a WWE championship belt to charity events that we both attended as well. Stay down. And he doesn't get the cheap one that you get like at no, Toys no, R Us. No, no. He's ordering it custom real off fan. the internet. Stay down. Just stay down. So now really looking like a blank end. We're right there. Schuster just drawn away from the guard. Doesn't want any part of that. Yeah, no reason to play towards the Good. Set kind of corner guard and yeah. with that rock out of the rings in the back the corner actually does come into play because if you freeze on the high side you can't really take it out so, so it's more of a hit and roll out force yeah. opportunity but uh, you'd be waiting unless they really don't know the ice you're going to wait a long time to watch Mark Kennedy hit and roll out on an open hit out turn here from Kennedy yeah no one You see the from our view Brett here in the here. booth, you can't see it on camera. Yeah, I think Brett just popped in. The airflow coming from the back corner of the arena is blowing the curtains hard. I can promise you it's not moving Mark's hair. <laughs> that is staying perfectly in place. That is quite the breeze. Is that an effect? Is that one of the new things we're doing? Yeah, I, just, I was trying to figure that out too, what they're is, what they're doing. If you're not Maybe, kicking out of the hack hard enough to make the hair flow and maybe a chance to do a little update across the sheets here. All four sheets are streamed. You don't get to hear our beautiful voices on the other three, but 
Got another all Scottish mat matchup, Crike and White. We got White up 2 nothing, and uh, looking to be in good shape to force here in the third end. And uh, then we got Zinni Schwaller is playing against Rano from Sweden, and uh, Rano up 3 nothing there. And then we've got the veteran of all veterans, Team Kevin Cooey, playing with three still against, uh, well, potentially the hottest team on tour, if not the second hottest, and Benoit Schwaller, or Yannick Schwaller and Benoit Schwartz up 2 1 on Cooey playing the third. So, non stop heavyweight tilts at the Grand Slams these days. If you don't know where the easy game is, that means it's you. That was always the <laughs> saying. And I don't see any easy ones out here right now. Yeah, it, that's the old poker term. If you're looking around the table for the fish and can't find it, and then you're the fish. That, it, it makes these, these broadcasts so fun too, Brent, because we talked earlier in the, the first draw of the day about you take a loss in a triple knock in most tournaments, you feel like you drop down to a better spot in the Soft draw spot. at least. You don't get that in these fields. This is the 16 best teams or highest ranked teams on the planet. You'll get two of them every single game for all our broadcasts with Home Team Live and Grand Slam and Curling all season long. Schuster playing the intern hit and stick. They'll stay on the paint. Both teams banking some time now for later in the game too. So simple shot here for Brad, but like we talked about earlier, important. He has to stick in the rings here, or John will have a chance to freeze that back one and get a cheesy force, which would not feel very good for Team Jacobs after the way this end has played out. And we've seen these run a little bit too, Brent, on the outside of the sheet. On the wall side, again, not unusual at all for any curling club or arena. At the straightest spot you'll see on all the sheets combined is the wall side of the sheet on the end sheets. It is straight out there. That's just board weight. And you see how cautious they threw that shot. And, and Brent, I, I would think that normally you see when teams are playing on the outside of the sheet, especially early in the game, they're throwing a little harder to take the ice out of it. But they're so afraid of that backing up that they're trying to control the weight. So Johnny's going to give. He knows... Brad hasn't missed a blank in 10 years. She's going to give it a go. The hit and roll to the perfect freeze. Got to pick the right weight here to get the right angle on the roll. Looks like a heavy normal or something might get over there. Do you want a dead frozen or do you want a little high of it? Oh, dead frozen would be great. Yeah, where do you want it? <laughs> Just so I know judging it across the sheet here, I got 12 feet of judging after it hits. Yeah. How about four-fifths high? Can we do that? Schuster's last. Here in the second, playing the 12 foot cross house freeze. hit and roll hit freeze, roll but to the high side. He's gonna roll out high side, I think. Just barely misses the 12 foot roll. And we got ourselves a blank end. <laughs> Does appear that way, so Brad picking the center line and again teaching point for the novice curler Brent. Don't just throw this away, pick a spot you wanna see and get a read off of it. So Brad sure. wants to see inside out on the center line. Plays the out. So that will be a blank here in our third end of action. Jacobs retains hammer going to the fourth. Score tied at 1-1. When it comes to the game we love, having the right gear makes all the difference. Goldline's new curling shoes and brooms are a game changer. The shoes? Unbelievably comfortable. And the brooms? Lightweight and effective, giving you control on every sweep. When I step onto the ice, I'm not just prepared. I look sharp. Have you seen these shoes? They are a game changer. And the brooms? Light as a feather. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. Seems like it. Welcome back to the Hearing Life Tour yeah, Challenge. We've got a uh, round of 16. We've got a triple knockout format here this week. Men's and ladies, tier one and tier two, the biggest Grand Slam of the year. A lot of action. If you like curling, you gotta get down to Charlottetown or you can check it out on the home team live stream, which you're obviously doing. Feature game today is Team Schuster and Team Jacobs. We've got a 1-1 one -one tie into the fourth. Team Jacobs with the hammer and really overall kind of carrying the play. Certainly not running away with it, but uh, so far it's been kind of all Jacobs, but it's 1-1. Just making sure it's all in. 
Matt Hamilton not happy sliding the guard in there, but I don't think they're going to hit it anyway, Matt. You're going to get another chance. Brent uh, amazed by the crowds here early in this event. Right? So, I mean, as many slams as you played in one, you ever see a Tuesday noon draw with this many people in the stands? No, I mean, we're, uh, we're more than half full here, and I think it's a, a testament to the excitement around the changes and the... You know everything going on with uh, with the new curling group and taking the not just these slams but the sport to new new heights and also we're in Charlottetown PEI you know a small town city they support it's a sporting city they support the events and support the town and I would expect it to be a, a great event with lots of people all week should be an awesome atmosphere. So next door the tier two challenge going on just across the the hallway. Again, the Tier 2 winner with a spot in the Tier 1 in the following season. We saw Danny Casper accomplish that from the United States and make his way into the, their first slam. I, I love that uh, opportunity to Brent for that side of things. Good. So there isn't a huge talent gap at this point like there used to be between no, it's the 16 team and the, the 20 team even. So definitely, definitely changed. And yeah, it, it is an awesome thing. And the idea of the tier two, you know, the development tour, you know, the call it whatever you want in golf. It's changed names a million times, but it's a great place for those up and coming teams, you know, to give it a go. And um, I actually played in it as at the end of my career I wasn't as good as I once was I guess and I actually felt guilty because it's kind of designed for the up-and-comers not the, the has-beens that are on the decline but a, just a great initiative by by the Grand Slams and love to see it I think for the the teams you played against in that event too Brent they got to be on the ice with the they got to Brent Lane right yeah just <laughs> rip me up and down the sheet and <laughs> It's great. So Jacob's going for the double centers there, knowing those reds are so close together. But something's like changing with the ice here. It's getting faster. You don't see guys like that, you know, throw them that close together accidentally, especially back to back. But uh, so kind of a strange start to this end. And we did see a little of that in the opening draw as well. With as the game went on, teams were missing deep on draws more often. One, two. Saw that first go into the rings for Matt Hamill. The second one barely staying out. Seeing it on all sheets, too. As Karks corner guard slides into the rings in front of us. Could be something. I don't understand ice making. Uh, I know that ice changes. That's about all I know. And I don't know if it's the plant kicking on, the plant kicking off, the tornado in the corner down there. But the ice is definitely picking up speed. And that's something you, the guys should be talking about. A little hesitant to curl. Yeah, we're of like minds on that. I I never wanted to know why ICE did what it did. I just wanted to read it. That's it. You know, you could tell me, here's what we did with it. You know, we'd raise the temperature to this and that. So here's I don't what care. Happen. Yeah. Yeah, What's going to happen? Yeah, what does that mean? Triple I'll let attempt. Schuster worry about that. Triple attempt from Brett here. Not quite, but that is a good setup uh, now for Team Jacobs. This one's higher. I don't know if it matters, though. We might have to bump it. This yeah. is trouble for Team Schuster. Like Triple corner guard's yeah. never a good thing. Yeah, anything yeah. that gets under that is staying there. So and no center guard. putting that broom down for the intern. Yeah. Okay, so you're looking at Thumb around. Uh, 15, yeah. 10. They've chosen the tap here. And you're going to see a short run back from Team Jacobs. And yeah, they are tapping the top one. This is going to be a Six, seven, hold on and hope light. from here on out for Team Schuster. Oh, it's light, guys. It's light. Hard it. Four. Keep going. You can probably go around the corner. And, and that's a miss, Brent, you see going, so often going. in the slams where it's getting off the draw of the button keep path, going, keep across going, keep going, the center. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, big, and there's that in-between spot. If you get close to the center line, it runs okay. and wow, finishes. Dude. But you get inside the draw path to the button where it's in between, and it just cranks, turns over. Definitely. That ends up in the behind the corners, missing the tap completely. Only yeah. thing is he barely got Hitting. by that, but it was coming in sideways. I like, I like hitting. Yeah, Brett really doesn't like that, that shot. I don't like leaving these. You like hitting? Yeah. What if you tried this? He's yeah. to play a soft hit and roll frozen. Yeah. I like that best, Brett. 
Yeah, what's your thought here, Brent? My first thought was what Brad called. But it is a little dangerous leaving these in the middle. Uh, taps are the hardest shot on slam ice in my experience to get it dead perfect weight and line. But if he makes that freeze in there, he's that's going to be there the whole end. Does roll off the paint, but clears both stones, so no danger in the center anymore. Yeah, it's just, they just lost their real good opportunity for a deuce, though, because now they choose to can beat him in there, and there's really no more danger. They're going to have to make an absolutely pinpoint draw past this one. Shot rock. If he had made the triple there, you know, maybe, but that wasn't even possible. And here's where rock placement is so important to Brent with... If this over curls a little bit, you still leave that intern freeze and two yeah. comes back into play. So you want this buried enough that they can't move both like stones, it. but it's a little late. you can't leave Four. that freeze path. So Four. top oh, eight foot somewhere in there. Nothing. Get Easy. No, no, no. Wait there. You need a piece to get by. A lot it's wider than right. Collins. It does finish here, but oh, Pocket I City, I think. Just to it. Not, not terrible. Chakras. Could use another four or five inches of curl, but not sure what they're going to do with that. You they think you're probably to can two? play the the tap to move it. Get yep. to two thirds, three quarters. Yeah, just on the high side. I think you're throwing thirteen. Okay. Four buck. Thirteen. That used to be kind of normal draw weight at the old curling club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So looking for through the house here, type of weight. Okay. I think I need a little more. If I give you the right weight, okay these guys are as good as anybody at talking through, and I think that goes to Brad and Mark, talking about the really speed, the line. How do we make off. this shot? Okay. So okay. I, I don't think you need any more. I think just a good throw on this with 13. Okay. You hear the conversation going right through Mark's pre-shot routine. Now, for me, Brent, I'd, I'd probably reset after that. I don't know how you were about the conversation while you're in the hack. If, if you just talk and go or... If you took a little extra time to wait for the conversation to stop and throw, no, I would I would just go. And Mark's, you know, Mark's more of that. He's a pretty quick player as well. No, once he says okay, it's it's time to go. But this is a total whiff. Okay. Wait, pretty close to what they were looking for, I think, but just nowhere near the line, and maybe a little weight sensitive on that track. Just sorry, Mark. Coast by. So if you throw it the same way... Or the apology like from Brett there, probably on what they told him. Bad information. Hack, yeah. But they all decided together, and I mean, Mark's not going to be pointing fingers. Yeah. And they were wrong. <laughs> but accountability in I those situations we'll as a teammate you. means so much, too. You know, if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. You guys aren't going to get on you for that. So now Ply's playing the intern, trying to protect that line. Never. Never for weight. Still got to get this buried or Brad will rip the triple. Hit on it again. Needs the turnover. Pretty good. That's just fine. Chakras. Should be in there far enough. And I did 12, a little less out, I thought. Yeah, a little less out. But a little, little bigger kick, I thought. What did you have? 12. Yeah, I had a 10 on his first, and that one, and I had a 3. It's not, it's not terrible. Or are you trying to do the same thing? I don't think that works very well. Similar, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 12. And 12, here, Brent, 12. even if you yeah, click and roll off, okay. Try to get to John's going to have to play to okay, your, gonna your you stone. More, so it might leave you an Let's angle to play something ahead. into a roll after that, too. So you're, you're playing for, for two shots ahead here for Mark. You need to unlock it. And if it stays high side on it, it's great. But it, Anything that moves that back stone and rolls the number one counter is going to give them some kind of opportunity to play to it and maybe get to the corner. I think at this point they're looking for the easiest possible shot for one. And leaving these frozen like this doesn't give you that. It's one off the paint. Reds are really locked in there. I think John can probably ignore those and yeah, just go open yeah, side. Half, try to make it 
could, I could still have hidden stays. The four is completely like it's dead. It's, oh yeah. So, but, I mean, put behind the tee so you can't play this. Like, he has to be able to play it in, right? Yeah. Right, so it's just got to stay back here. Yeah. But, all right. Got to be pretty precise with where they place this draw. It's a little scary if Brad can make a double off that yellow. Now you hear John talking about wanting to make sure this is deep enough that they can't play off of it for a more straightforward double. You could also just guard that yellow. Their, their concern is if you undercurl a little bit, you give them a guard to go around. And if you overcurl, you give him a chase yeah. to lie second, first, Just and third. A good shot there by Mark. Can, no, Would have been really yeah. good if one shot earlier. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't mid is it? I think it's going to be good because we're going to be on pretty much board weight hits me through this one. I think it's yeah. going to be really good. 10, so, fi yeah. or 15 10, then. 15 to get back forward. I think 10, 15, yep. Yeah. So really wanting this behind the T line, John Schuster. They're they talking split draw. times there, Tyler? Yeah, yeah. they are talking splits, so if you're hearing 15, then is that a 415 back on the hog, or is that... Yeah, he's talking 415. John always wants a split on every single shot he throws. I never wanted to hear a number, period, unless I ask. Double spot's better than not in the rings. It's going to out count the yellow, and... Out considerably wider than they were looking to throw, but is sitting third. This does give Brad the opportunity to play off of that stone, though, and try to clear two of them. And Brett, that yellow one might squirt underneath the corner guards, too, playing this. Yeah, if he makes this, going to put a little bit of heat on uh, Johnny. Take the double. Right there, Brett. Got to get relatively close to that corner guard. Like just a little bit. Pretty flat, big half seven, looks like. Seven, like. Mark, thin half or a half? Huh. Half, eh? It's a pretty natural. Yeah, dead half is. That's the one you like throwing when you're playing this shot, that half a rock double. You see the killer instinct look in Brad's eyes on this one. <laughs> he raced down the other end. We've all seen that one on oh, the yeah. other side a few times. The biggest thing there for Schuster was they lost the line badly. I think yeah. he just got it narrow early and wanted to be a foot closer to the center, which would make this a lot steeper. And that's not finishing that release again on that slam ice. Collins doing the same. So here is Jacobs playing the intern crosshouse clean. Look at that. Perfectly done. And now all of a sudden that red rock, awfully lonely. Good shot, Kyle. You see, they didn't get real close to the guard there, but it's too easy for these guys. Too easy. Good spot. Good news for John. Yeah, nose. I think dead nose. Nose leaves some snake eyes. No double, and Brad will have a, you know, a reasonably tough draw, uncomfortable draw to the forefoot against two. You don't want to roll a foot to the inside here. Okay. Yeah, they probably have three quarters of that other red stone. So as you said, yeah, that little roll middle will definitely leave a double for two. So dead nose, Schuster looking for here. Very little room to roll wide, though. You don't want to roll a foot wide or it's an open hit for two. You're 10 the call, so just playing control weight. Great shot. Perfectly Perfect. done. No really double good, opportunity guys. there. Unless Brad decides he wants to gonna play the hit here on the so afterburners. Ten and a half. Ten and a half oh, interesting. Wow. This, 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 this nose is not good here. So. But have we seen an right have we seen an intern see? draw this end? Maybe they're a little they gotta be worried that's about good. the path. I mean if this is out turn side, I think he draws all day. Well, this is pretty close to the the path that Huffman played on his draw that right. cranked all the way underneath the corner. So maybe that's a thought in his they mind, but still it's it's the draw yeah. to the button path that he'd be playing. So a bit of a surprise that he's electing to play the hit and roll as opposed to the clean draw. 
Well, Mark's not going to wave him off because Mark makes the sit and roll 99 times out of 100, he so he's in. But so does Brad. So they'll be close on this, but this has got to be it's got to be path related. The final stone, fourth end. A little extra set there from Bradley. Did set it back a little bit, but they like the line. See, there's Mark, the vet, saying, just curl. We don't need to go carve straight. Almost lost it. Is it going to sit? They did lose it. Wow, rolls too far. Big error. And that is a steal of one for Schuster. So going into the break after four ends of play, they lead two to one on Team Jacobs. I've stood at the pinnacle of curling and battled in the most intense games. Out on the ice, there's no room for compromise. And when the pressure's on, every millimeter counts. It's not just a game. It's about maximizing performance, pushing limits, seizing victory. When victory hangs in the balance, I know what I'm relying on. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. When you've conquered another game, a long day, a job well done. And the final work call. Where your place? Come as you are. And fit in comfortably. Mr. Mice. Eat locally, enjoy casual. When it comes to the game we love, having the right gear makes all the difference. Gold Line's new curling shoes and brooms are a game changer. The shoes, unbelievably comfortable. And the brooms, lightweight and effective, giving you control on every sweep. When I step onto the ice, I'm not just prepared, I look sharp. Have you seen these shoes? They are a game changer. And the brooms, light as a feather. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. Four ends of play at finish, and we are two to one at the break now. Team Schuster leading Team Jacobs. A couple steals in this game early on now. Yeah, now, two, one well, each. Kind of a, an odd one there, Tyler, out of kind of, not out of nowhere, but a strange kind of call. A little worried about the ice, obviously. And yeah, We see the, the first end there, Schuster playing that intern draw around the outside, but happy to give one. And moving on into action into the, the second couple of hit and roll attempts that overcurled, rolled open, but Mark showed them how to make it eventually. Mark, as we expected, makes that perfect hit and roll, and Jacob's trying to draw to the top of the forefoot to set up a steal. Does go a little deep. I mean, he was like the baddest man. For and then a again, long time. Brent, the shot we've seen He's Brad make so many times that cross house double. Now. And his name was Patrice, Try to set up the two point end. But like you gotta after be tough Schuster makes that nose hit, yeah. we're both a little surprised to see that on-off call from both well, they, sides of the equation. There. They ended up with no weight. Like, that's barely hack weight, which was surprising. And they, they'd seen it. John had just thrown it. So a miscue there and a big break I, for I've Team stood. Schuster. And kind of out of nowhere, they're you know, slightly in control ahead. of this game after, you know, they controlled that last end. But the first three ends were mostly, mostly girl, Team Jacobs. So see how girl, Team girl, Jacobs... Girl. More response to the first little bit of... Oh my gosh, what a fucking meatball. Okay. Why can I not throw these stones right now? <laughs> Is it a meat hole, a meat ball? A meat ball. A meat ball, that's a new one. we got to write down the best terms of the year. I know Cullen's trying to get cool again. We should do the same. <laughs> John Landsteiner, it's always faster after the break, but uh, Matt Hamill did not have that issue on that shot. And that's going to force him to throw another center guard. If if I'm Jacobs, I don't know if I it's love good. the corner guard here. As much as we're on tilt a little and we want to score two, good. they're coming with another center. Right here, boys. Real close. There, just past you. Another intern like there from Hebert. Not a lot of choice for that line. Oh, that high guard's in the way. Good, good. good. Right to the word bubble on hearing life. Buck speed still looks good, eh? Nice. Even Kennedy getting in the play. Boy. These guys are loose. Ooh, like Not this. used to the mics just yet. This is mid-season form for the swear jar, but to give our boys a reminder. This is uh, some high-level stuff. 
Just squads. Squads. You can't. Let's not come in. 15 seconds. Hamlin following up his meatball with a, with a good shot. There you go, Maddie. Center. Pretty good, Maddie. That way, Maddie. Nice pair, dude. And he touches the center, the center line. Happy with himself. <laughs> Anything is possible. Coming in the tackle. No, wait, it's good to see Matt that. showing a little yeah. energy out there, a little <laughs> life, you know, so out of character for right. him yeah. normally. Yeah. You, know, you and him really remind me of each other right? a lot. Yeah. Out Almost on identical. Yeah, the same demeanor. It's really hard to tell when he's winning or losing, actually, because he's <laughs> just the same guy. you got to admire that. Wait, wait, wait. And his uh, counterpart here, Benny, is the opposite. You can tell if Ben's <laughs> winning or losing. Hard mark. It is ball. not hard. hard mark. Intern come around oh, attempt for Hebert. Interesting call there, just ignoring the Ten. double centers. Ten. You got curl. That might be the best result, because if you made that come around, you forced Schuster to go around the double centers, and yeah. now he's got a hit, and then you can make the hit and roll. And Maybe it was another secret sign from Brad to Benny that that was on purpose. Set. You'll touch the nose, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 I, I'm with you yeah. there, Brent. I mean, the whole reason you're throwing those up there is to use no them. Roll. I mean, even though you don't have hammer, that yep, rock yep, is yep, yep, yep. not hurding you I by any means. <laughs> so now if Brad's trying to make a two, he's got to draw, I think. Like it, and it, it looks very unlikely to be a blank end here with all these guards, but he's sticking with the hit. To me, this one rolls too close to the button, and then you know, Colin will play a freeze down to the button, and you're playing around double centers. Not my favorite with the hammer, but I'm up in the booth. I no longer get a vote. I just get to judge everybody else, which is way better anyway, Ty. Why? You're not going to miss it either. No, we're going to tell them what they should do, and then we're going to criticize them when they don't. Trying to get the big roll all the way to the corner, but needs to stay on the paint first. Sneaky good. Ah, that's a veteran shot there. Don't want to hit that, but you kind of have way. to. I mean, you got it all. Yep. Do you ever I draw here, and here knowing? I, I would, yeah. I mean, uh, you don't have to make it that good to get a good result here. It's not like it's a, well, if we don't make this, we're in trouble type of shot. Sure. You got a four foot area where it's a good result. You and Johnny still on the same page after all these years? I, w I was really hoping he didn't call the hit there because I would have been really disappointed in him. Because you know what's coming next. Yeah. So do you guys still get together for your gold medal parties? Four. We've never been invited, which is strange. <laughs> we, we do try to get together on the 24th nice. every year just to have a little reunion thing. And you know, the guys are usually busy in the thick of the play on season, but they try to make time. and. Yeah, fun little tradition for us. But. Keep going, get shot. Keep going, going, keep going, keep going. Just and John's going to try and play in 10 Olympics? Oh, is that his goal? Or what's, yeah, what kind of goal question. What path is he on? I get that question a lot. How many is he doing? going for? But, I, I mean, if you're him shots. and you get there every time, at what point do you not keep trying to go? That's, Somebody needs yeah, to take like the that. crown first. Okay. And that's like the guys that, you know, when they say to... Glenn Howard well, over the years, I got the question well, a lot too, and it's like, like if I thought you guys were any like, good, yeah, I would have quit a long time ago. <laughs> I think 12 doesn't kill it. Like Dropkin, if you want me to quit, you're yeah. gonna have to start beating me all Love the time. Yeah. Well, Casper, yeah, one, one of you guys. That's, I'm sure that's how he feels, and that's how they feel too, because they want to beat him more than anything, right? Yeah. So it came up a little late, but like you said, still a pretty good spot. Chance here to get rid of the double centers though for for Brad and maybe roll the shooter to a good spot. Oh, oh, but a very precise hit here. And as we talked curl, about too, curl. Brent, that, curl, Mark. that stone was not really, straight. yeah, it's, hard, hard, it's hard. not turning over. And it's following hard. Benny's, which they think is a cutter. Like, somebody say something. Yeah. Oh, Coach Webster, where are you? <laughs> He's here. That's what Where's the fourth end breaks for, draw, right? Same turn, huh? Somebody say Let's something about that rock. Well, if they're shot, we hit them. Or tell Brett he sucks, because it's one of those two, and I don't <laughs> think it's the <laughs> second. I still think we're just going right I'm back in here. That's right. If he's not you the best like second in the world, he sure yeah. is close. Mine ran really nice. Yeah. If you're not putting him in the conversation, yeah. then I'm not talking to you. Right. 
Now a big, big chance here, and the momentum's that is really not, swung yeah. quickly yeah. here. Yeah. And that, yeah. like zero, again, goes five, back to like talking about playing that draw. Is they threw it in the top of the 12 foot, which is probably four feet away from where they wanted it, and it still, still wasn't a bad good. result. No. Feels like, feels There's a big difference between four, five, playing four. a draw around centers yeah. when the opponent with a hammer Wait, has good. a counter Girl. to a spot that's a foot wide or a spot that's, that's four feet wide. going to have to do, right? Yeah. yeah. This is really out there. We've seen the wide miss on this side of the sheet a few times. This is turning over now, though. Cover edge, cover edge, cover edge. Okay. Uh, good speed again. Try to top just a bit. Top yeah. of the foot. Wants to see how wide see how much it finishes mark. here. Just yeah, that actually plays into Jacob's hands yeah, now because that was nowhere near that rock on the top of the 12 foot. So, especially with you know Mark's touch and not spinning it too much, he should be able to get this to walk in. And definitely get shot rock. This is a draw shot where the sweepers make it for you. I'm sure that's what Mark's thinking. Draw the tee line. It's great to bump it, but if you throw it there on your own and it tracks, it's going to be real big Queen, trouble. Queen. Top button. Yep. Queen, yep. Kennedy playing the out turn tap. Top button. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. Queen. Trying to get Queen. shot rock. Curl. In the fifth end. Curl. Nice. Curl. Nice. Curl. Nice. Curl. <laughs> Just a hair heavy, maybe. So close, but Schuster still in control here. Now, this is a big shot here, Brent. If they're able to get inside, tap that, get a little roll. Oh, easy. I like that shot. So I don't know about you. It's better safer. I, I don't what? think I'm worried about killing it at all. Because if you get that roll, it doesn't matter so if that rocks like, out. There's no way 13? in. Yeah, just here. It's almost yeah. the same oh, shot he just threw as, you know, so the difference between like a 13. T yeah. line and back 12 is probably so like one foot of ice out here, which is crazy what, to like think, a, but yeah. you really got to decide. That seems right. So this looks harder just because he I hasn't seen this shot to me. I'd, I'd just throw the draw. Same shot he just threw, get low, bump it a little, and the key is where so the flat. shooter goes. Here, hack the call, which is a little more than what they're looking for. They're looking for 13, which should be through the house, Wade. Sure sounds good. Yeah, that's a real good shot. Look where that shooter is. That did get a piece underneath. Gave yourself a little less margin for error with that weight, but you see Huffman getting this to turn over at the end. You got to be ready. Yeah, it just gets enough under that it's a really good Let's shot. They would have liked a couple more inches, but took the inside bad. away. So. Schuster firmly in control like of this end. Two, like I'm two, not sure I'd okay. be putting the game on the line here in this situation. Like, you make okay, a great shot here, two two you're line probably line still going to be forced. Okay. First one down, I, think you'll get a little bit I might hit that one. That's That top four rocks, I hate that rock. Find me yellow. Yeah, that's the plus side of leaving some of that open for Schuster is wherever... Kennedy throws this stone. If they ever yeah, need to draw. use that, they can. Yep. First draw on this side of the sheet, yep. this end. I'd be worried this yep. is a little bit slower. Hard, Brad good. Hard, Brad. Hard, everything, Brad. Hard, everything, Brad. Hard, Brad. Stay down hard. Hard, Brad. Hard, Brad. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Really sweeping to get by. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, it does go, touch go, that go, rock go, in the go, top go, of the 12s, go. but it oh, spins in at the end. Good spin. That's the member's roll there. Yeah, look at this spin right at the end of that shot. That was almost an absolute disaster. If that catches another half inch of that stone. I think we need to do that now, though. You just rip this out of there, don't you, and even kill your back one? Did they draw an edge of button? Probably. Here Yellow shot here. They like got shot there too, didn't they? You know I mean? like, Let's appear to be shot. We we'll see what John's down. thinking here. Yeah, they're shot. 
How about come down and tap it a rock on the nose to open up the slash? You got him on this side. I think we could probably get it all the way here dead. by just playing with a little bit of fire if we happen to ever rub something. Yeah. Whereas we could also just draw him. And if you do rub this and cover this up, it's not good, right? Can we draw but, there? What are they doing? I think you want to move that slash, rock a little bit maybe? for the reason you yeah, mentioned, Brent. Well, they can't take That makes that slash in a little bit easier right. yeah, on the intern side. Yeah, if you get to the nose with back button, yeah, top of the rock, the I like the on the first one. Yeah. Yeah. They're you? dead. And yeah. the other yeah. shot I, I don't hate is... Just rip that yellow out of there, off the back, red one. Brad's going to have a draw, and you can follow. I like this tap because, I mean, you, you expect to make the rip, too. But if you jam that straight in, you're bringing two or three into play for your opponent. Playing this freeze tap, it's going to be awfully tough for Brad to get two, even if you have a half make here. But just like you said, move this one stone, that's right. yeah. make that's that that's slash a little bit easier, take that path away from Jacobs. So Schuster, the out turn, tap. Love it. Ten, no go there. Yep. Clean, clean. Eight. Yes. Clean. Yes. 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 Six. A lot of different numbers coming out. Six, seven. Yep. This is that little in between Six, path seven, again, seven. really curling. Oh Six, seven. Weight's coming off of it too because it's crossing center. Bump it. That's Very good. really good. Boy, great shot. Yikes. Both are easier. And now the angles play into Schuster's hands. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, take my rewind and go back to Mark's shot and hit that one top four yeah. instead of playing that draw. This, this yeah. looks a little bit tougher. It is. And it leaves us a shot for one. Yeah. yeah. This looks too easy. Ding, ding, and then we're dead. So we're probably guarding. Yeah, you got to guard. If he makes this, guys, what's your shot for one? Out turn draw. Okay. That's the only other play. All the time, right? we got to be perfect. If we're here, it's not super easy. It almost overcurled just a hair on them. You're going to have to play it in your next one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like the other team. <laughs> yeah. If he taps with Brad, right? If he does this. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna have to make this against four. I know. If you guard this, if he does this, you're gonna have to make this against three. Yep. So if we put it here. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. We're pretty we, fucking good. Unfortunately, another one. The reverse freeze. Right now, I think, boys. If we could just just get it past the yellow right to here. Right. He's gonna get two if he makes that. Shot? I think so. Yeah. Oh, it is. Extremely precise, but that's the that's best, the best result. result. Right there. there you go. Thank you, Brad. You okay with that? You're going to have to make the three or four in the next one. Yeah, Brett, thinking it through pretty, pretty logically, I think. Yeah, and I, I think the score factors in here, too, Brett. Yep. That's, you're down by a point playing the fifth. Okay, speed is probably... So playing the like, like if I least you, margin for error shots, but again, as Brad said, the best result. Enough. Very close, yeah. Might, yeah. He's got to go 14, wider here. 14, That's why they're talking yeah, okay. a little yeah, heavier. A little I think a good pass, 14-8. So commit to that. Back four, back button. There are a couple disaster spots to end up on this line, too. There's only one good one. <laughs> yeah, there's one good one. First stone, it's Brad neat. Jacobs, fifth end. He needs to get this running. Sweet's good, I think we're there. It can't curl Line's early. Good. Line's back good. Four. Line's good, fresh pass there. Sweet from back button. Line's, Line's good. good. Line's, Line's good. good. Line's, Line's good. good, back button. Really it's like the lines. Line's now good. it's all on the sweepers, Line's placing back this to back curl button. Little, has to curl a bit, has but to curl the speed is more Should short. be able to finish yep. on the line. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a shot. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a really good angle, too. There's no run in now with that rock on the center line. That doesn't just dead stick to that red in the back of the forefoot. Fantastic shot there from Jacobs. Almost game saver. plant it and wiggle it. It might wiggle. It probably doesn't. Just got to hit this left one and give him a draw for two. I think dead sticking is probably our best bet. Yeah. Like hopefully, it, hopefully if you dead, I mean, it just flops up here, or then it's really tough for me a second. Yeah. Right here. Yep. 
That's kind of all you can do, though. Now, do I, I still want to throw this That's hard just hard. so yeah, well made by Jacobs. To like eight, two inches five. deeper. Perfect spot. Three, it's automatic. I think he <laughs> Muzzy even smiling at the other guy's good shots, eh? Like a third? I didn't want him to put it right. happy being under here. Ours, and anything goes under ours, right? Shouldn't play the guard. Shut up. <laughs> Muzzy nickname started the Continental <laughs> Cup where he was Captain America, right? And he had that big mustache yeah. and yeah. he get just stuck. Yeah, I, ha I hadn't heard that one in a few years now, too. But we were teammates Maybe. once upon a time in the Continental Cup. Champions, as I recall, too. I think we probably lost and won together, if we're honest. Oh, no, I played 2-1-2. Two, two. Oh, good. good for you. So you should have come more. Yeah, apparently. That event sucked to lose. <laughs> yeah, it did. Schuster playing the intern slash. Nate Let's rock to the top of the quiver. four foot. Right to it. Good. Oh, gets it to wiggle out of the four foot. Really good. That's wild. They talked about that just easy, briefly. Easy. Hey, throw that hard. Man, thinking maybe they could get it to wiggle out and then decided no. But just with hitting it that thick, got action that they really didn't expect to get. So really good shot there from Schuster, but a little surprise result. I don't think anybody on the sheet expected it to go that far. I know I didn't expect it to go that far. It's amazing that after, you know, spending your whole life in a game that we still don't know. <laughs> in our defense, different striking bands cause different reactions, different activity in the in the rings, but none of us are physicists, it turns out. No, please don't ask us why curling no. rocks curl, because no. nobody knows. That's the answer. Because you spin them. Yeah. I'll tell you what direction it's going to go when you spin it. That's it. So high pressure draw. I know Brad just made this, but this might be a shade faster second pass. This is yep. final stone of the fifth big draw from Jacobs against two. As Brent said, similar path to what he just threw, which is they don't look like what they like this. That is a mile short. That is reminiscent of a draw I watched about six years ago. I had that thought Get me out briefly, of here. Next but I wasn't going to be the one to bring it up. Next so end. A steal of two for Schuster. Now it is 4-1 following the fifth. Schuster leads. I've stood at the pinnacle of curling and battled in the most intense games. Out on the ice, there's no room for compromise. And when the pressure's on, every millimeter counts. It's not just a game. It's about maximizing performance, pushing limits. Seizing victory. When victory hangs in the balance. I know what I'm relying on. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. Finish of the fifth end. Jacob's looking like maybe a chance for two. And Schuster a surprise double on his last. Not thinking that rock would wiggle out of the forefoot. Forces Jacobs to draw against two and ends up being a steal of two points to go up 4 1 here at the Grand Slam Curling Healing Life Tour Challenge. Bell Alliance Center. Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Tyree George with three time world champion, 16 time slam champion, Brent Lang. And Brent, you heard the surprise from Team Schuster even on John's final stone to get those rocks moving and. You know, maybe sometimes that throws your opponent for a loop. We thought that path was pretty close to what Brad had just thrown, but nowhere near on that final draw. Yeah, surprising miss, but it, again, first game, unsure. Later in the week, they probably have a better idea, but that's just an excuse. He won't be happy with that throw, and uh, the guys jumped on it right away. They knew he was light, but yeah, well played end by Team Schuster. Had him in trouble. Brad, I thought he got him out of it, and I think we're all surprised that double went, but here we are, 4-1 in a game that Early, we thought might get away from Schuster, and now they're in, in the driver's seat. And that's uh, curling. It uh, turns on a dime. Nothing sure. new to see a team getting out of trouble early and then turning the tables. We just decided to get Rock just overcurled a whole bunch of times in this game. We're going to see that Team Jacobs not really slide up and down the ice near each other for the next little bit here. They're kind of on different pages talking about rocks and. It's a frust been a frustrating game for them, no, no doubt. Yep, you hear them talking about knowing what the rocks are doing and, and not adjusting, which is 
kind of a curling 101 thing, Brett. Hate to say, but I mean, it, it's it's one thing if you're not seeing it and it continues to happen. It's another if you're aware of it and not doing anything about it. And I think that's where that frustration is coming from. Yeah, it was interesting. We didn't talk much about Benny's second one and Brett's first one looked like polar opposites. Yeah. Um, but hey, it's it's not easy out there. I, I know it's easier from up here, but uh, and when we're wrong, it doesn't cost us any points. And then, of course, the uh, the PTSD comment for me at the end of last end was the, <laughs> the eighth end of the Olympic semifinal in 2018, where my, uh, my partner here, Tyler, and uh, and John and Matt, they stole two in the eighth end in a tie game to really put the stranglehold on Team Cooey, Team Canada, and knock us into that bronze medal game yeah, on their the, way to the Olympic rock gold. position was eerily was very similar, similar in where the rock ended up. Wide too, out turn so. draw and it stopped in about this. Benny kicked it in about the same about spot. About the same too. spot. Yeah. yeah so. I, I was I told Brent I was never going to be the one to bring it up but it, enough time has passed. Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. Three. <laughs> but yeah it's, uh, it, it popped into both here. our heads Line's immediately. Gonna be good. It's gonna be Great thing about our Call sport. Line. I mean, Line's we, good. You come full circle in these things so many times, too. I mean, uh, it's a small world, yeah. for sure. Good start there. Matt, all of a sudden, getting his rocks in the same, in the right spot. What's the, the Matt Hamilton story on the, the green towel in his pocket? I know it looks really terrible. It's not a very good story, honestly. What is it about? He, it was just a hat that he wore back in 2014-2015 season, okay. our first season. Because it's a bright color, so well, it draws attention. Them. I get it. And then didn't want to wear it during the game, but put it in his back pocket for luck. Please, and yep. we won the Nationals, so he ah, okay. continued to do it after that. Understand a good luck charm. And because, again, it's the, it's something that draws attention. Because his thing as much as his mustache, which he had the same deal with. His, his, he kept the mustache. That was the first year he had it. Because we made it through to Worlds. And... He yeah. made a deal with his wife that he got to keep it yeah, if we won nationals and okay. wasn't going to break the mojo. Yeah, yeah, and then stuck with it after that. And, and now he's got a brand to protect. Bless, so uh, committed. bless Jen that she allowed that to happen because I know how she feels know about it. Here, but yep. that's yeah, become a, a trademark for him. Curlers are very superstitious, like lots of athletes. My old teammate Wayne Madaw would say, I'm not superstitious, I'm just careful. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which... Which thing I do is the key, so I got to keep doing them all. Yeah. Trying to hit and roll into the rings. Be great to choke off this other corner. Oh, corner guard. Might have choked the corner guard. Really poor result there. And now the corners are in play after two shots for Team Jacobs. And again, what we talked about before, Brent, with having to move those stones in the center. Now you don't have to worry about it. You can attack. On second stones. And this is a shot or two earlier than Schuster was hoping for sure. Speed should be good. Yeah, I got it being like 14 and a half. Yeah, you're thinking? Like that. Yes, yeah, make it good. The old bounce back stat. You know, in golf, they've got the what do you do on the hole after the bogey? It's a stat. I'm not a real stats guy, but I'd love to see in curling. I'm sure there's specific teams that bounce back better than others after a tough end like that. Oh, that curlers talk about the only sport that we really compare it to on the psychological side of things, especially is golf, because they're sports of misses, not of makes. They're going to happen at some point. It's just a matter of how bad is the miss, when did it happen, where was it, how do you bounce back from it? Good shot from Brett there, and that's perfect shot. Too much time in your own mind, right? It's not a reactionary sport. I had 14-1 there, guys. It's crazy the things you can think about in that three-second slide from the hack to the hog line. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we hate the Scots, because they created the two most frustrating sports on the planet. <laughs> they wonder why they're so, so well. goofy. Look at the sports Seven, they created, for God's right? sake. Seven, Seven. Big shot Seven. here. Seven. If this is ever Seven. missed... Seven. Yeah. Chance for a, a big end here and get back seven, into it. Eight, yep. We're there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close. An important whoa, whoa, whoa. freeze here. Get there. Make sure yep. it's yep. Yep. That's a great shot. That's it. That's like That's making right. a double there, Brent, with shot. where those rocks are positioned. They're not going to be able to use that to score now. Oh, one. Chances of that yellow counting now are almost oh, zero. Yeah, there's no tap to keep it in play and use it. You're just playing the straight freeze on this. 
No need to unlock it. Needs to stay a little bit high here because if he gets to the nose, they'll be able to see it and just kind of smash it out of there. Path they should know, watching this shot three or four times in a row though, so this should be a make. You have a little margin for error with the Drew weight because you have the Drew stopper Drew in the back, but the, 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 the line's so important. Very good spot. Very good, good, good shot. Good, good sweep. Nice execution from both thirds here. Just a draw. So now it's, did they say just a draw? I don't I don't think you can do that. I think Johnny's on, but you got to move this stuff. Yeah, but if you roll open, it's not good. An inch or two. Yeah, if it's just a draw, there I really isn't a well, good spot for it to stay. I think that's really good, John. Yeah, I'm okay with, like, like, with like 11, five. I don't like that much weight. I like less. Okay, 12. You got to get it off the red, roll, kill the back. With it, but I just don't, dead jam is like the worst, That's bad, right? yeah. Yeah. So is you got to get at least close to nose. Can kill it or are they frozen? Can't kill it. Uh, there's six inches here. You can I never 12, kill it. I like 12.5 on the nose. I mean, you can freeze too, but it's just not. Then they know it was still in the worst. Yeah. I think it's, we got to bump it. Yeah. yeah I think okay. you want to catch 12, about five, seven five. eighths 12, of this. 12.5 12, is still five, a lot man. with this shot. It looks like mint ice. I know you, you want to move it, really but. Yeah. I'll give you a good hard clean, Chris. Just trust it. The harder you throw it, the less margin for error you have on getting it to stay where you want it to. Supplies throwing but pure hack. 12. Easy. 12! Yep! 12! gonna curl, I think. Yeah! Ah, this is really going, but holding yeah. early. Yeah. Hard calling. Hard! Has to Hard stay calling. a hair high. Curl! 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 Sorry. Okay. Very good. Out of the way. Shot. Does roll in for shot, though. It's now a freeze from freeze. Jacobs on this line, and you're, you're actually lined up pretty good, so... Maybe a little misread at the end of where you wanted to make contact. I think they just safety it a little bit. They just really didn't want to jam it on there. And you can see how open that is. Even if they freeze, there's, there's nowhere they can freeze for second shot that they won't be able to get this out, I don't think. But an opportunity. We've got to be really precise. A little bounce here, and that double is going to be pretty makeable. Let's get a foot more. Right here, boys. But same shot right you just here. threw, and the here. guys will be able to judge it. Clean. Yep. It's good. Yep. This one's really curling. Hard line, Brent. It's supposed to get straighter as a path where uh, well, this yep, is yep, gone. Still. Yep. What? That bounced a little bit. Okay. Wow. Not the work. Should be able to play the yellow, red, yellow that, here, I would think. Yeah, we could go on top of that. Yeah, that's going to be a like they both end up pretty easy wait, there. But, Turn doesn't matter, Johnny. I think you can throw peel, Johnny, with that turn. With this turn, okay. he's gonna be comfortable with All right. that. Yeah, I think I think thin half even still makes it pretty good. Yeah. If I'm holding the broom like for him here, I I want him throwing yeah, the out. Looks way more down. natural yeah, for many reasons. But that's <laughs> it does look like the, the easier way to goes. play it. You, you uh, never sure like playing these. We'll lose both I never like playing these types of shots where you have to be off the guard. Okay. Like if you're throwing the in, like if you're out. An inch, you may miss the shot completely. Helio, Helio so yeah. it gets always it's really kid. depends. I, I mean, I know really Brett. Yeah, I at least with Botcher, Brett used to throw a lot of cross face runbacks, and yeah. those to me were always the hardest. Yeah, you tend to set them into the nose a lot, and to me, it's always easier. This is a lot of ice though for Peel. Johnny will just hook it in there if he needs to. I'll pass. Sounds like they like it. That's perfectly done. Just leave it. Great shot, Johnny. Nice shot from outside. Schuster. Mm -hmm. Right there, Mark. Could have got real cocky and played this a little lighter. Look where this rolls. It would have still been shot right there. If it rolled to there, you would have had a real good chance. <laughs> so two not out of the picture here for Jacobs. Where those rocks ended up, the freeze obviously still available. 14-4. Yep. So will this one curl like Mark's first one or his second one? Like they, I didn't hear them talk about it again. And, and these lines, Brent, have been the ones that teams have struggled with 
the most so far. And I don't think that's a big surprise to slam ice either. Again, that in between sure. path where you're just not sure when it's going to get to the center and when it's going to cut. And we saw time. Collins do that earlier in the game, too. Totally. We saw Schuster's do that earlier in the game. But this has been the trickiest spot on the sheet. It's good. Line's good. T. Line's good. No early Back move this time. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Back button. Clean. Clean. Line. Clean. Clean. Starting Clean. to turn Clean. now. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Gotta keep this a hair high. Clean. 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 Yep. Clean. Yep. 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 Great That's great well team. done. Attack, great That's shot perfect. by Jacobs. And you heard that hard line call by Brad was preemptive before it took the turn. That's so important on this ice that if you wait and try to hold the line where it's at, it's too late. For sure. So no calling question. that there, he was calling it before it took the hard turn. Veteran maneuver on these conditions that they played on so many times. If I throw the... I think that's probably it. It's here that I mean you could throw a bomb. Sure looks like a deal. I mean I have to hit like nothing. You gotta hit an inch of it. Inch but is too much. Yeah, it's really hard. I, I like this. You think it in half? I just try to freeze. I, I was thinking, I mean whatever. I am thinking more like kinda like this kind of weight. So I think freeze makes it easier for this rock to stick in there, maybe. It does. Whatever you think and this is, is one where you, you, the line, like that's you just let John talk like himself through what right. weight he like, wants I mean, to we throw. Because, because the weight really is immaterial. Way, it's just whatever there, weight right he there. thinks he can make the shot with. You can play it with a freeze, like dead weight. You can play it with a bump. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, wherever you think you're going to make it with. So for the other guys, just clear out. Let John decide what weight he wants to throw. Because you know what shot you're playing. It's just a matter of what weight he wants to play. I like this, Johnny. Yeah, I'd have to throw in turn to get it going. That is good. I like this a lot. I don't think he can get it out of there the way he's saying the thick way. Dude, so we can plant this sucker for you. This yeah, is uh, extremely, extremely unlikely that he's going he to he's force into anything here. Yeah. And he's going to have to make it real good. Oh, good. Yeah, it's edge on edge. yeah, you're going to be in a good spot. So hit this kind of seven eight high. Like a, yeah, yeah. 95, sure. Stay on three quarters of it, just shot, and Brad will have a nose hit with Peel, but it'll be precise, as they say. Which great. 13! Close! Tony looked like he got that one going, but that's 13, a tough out turn read, Tyler. Yeah. I got a lot of respect hard, hard, for your hard, line hard. calls now. Hard, hard. Yeah, well, <laughs> seen a few. Trying to hold the line here, Huffman. Oh. Try just to get over sneaky. curls there. <laughs> A little what artistry on the release, but just That's weird. Well, took an early turn on the center line, and same Jacobs ice. with That's the same. classic it's skips the deuce here, Brent, who makes it. this one. And we got ourselves a game to get it back to 4-3 here, but a simple shot here, but got to make it. There's no gimmies in curling. We, uh, we don't have that. We can't agree to blank and end, and we also can't say this is good, pick it up. Yeah, it's like a 14 do that. So this we'll one. be out turn once again. Exact same path pretty much for Jacobs. I don't want to change the broom too much. You don't yeah, want to didn't like that have either. a little margin for error, but just made it on this path. So final stone of the sixth end. Brad Jacobs for the aforementioned Skips Deuce. Sweet's good. I like it. I think it's there. Sweet line. Okay. Sweet was like it, but no surprise to see Straight Gallant getting a broom Back down on it early. Same way. Back button. Line's good. Don't sure sound too worried. Looks like it's cruising right now. They do just kind of crank Same over way. and stop, though. So. Perfect nice line. Nice two. Jacobs gets two and cuts the deficit to one after six ends of play. Schuster will have hammer in the seventh, leading four to three. When you've conquered another game, a long day, a job well done, and the final work call. Where your place? Come as you are. And fit in comfortably. Mr. Mice, eat locally, enjoy casually. The end of action here in our feature matchup. 
the GSOC Hearing Life Tour Challenge on Home Team Live. John Schuster leading Brad Jacobs 4-3. To me, it's with like hammer really here in the device. seventh end. My, my misses have been like my, my sharp Jacobs ones have been with high and my soft two great ball. shots okay. to finish well, off I think I take that the sixth end to get myself. there too. But Schuster with the advantage, oh, the one point lead and hammer. Yeah. Too high. Jacobs will be going I'll, hard I'll for steel yeah. here in yep. the seventh. Lead Ben Hebert. In turn, guard to start the end, of course, with the no tick okay, zone rule. This rock is touching the center line as a guard. Cannot be moved off the center line. First five shots of the end. Start with a high one. Tells you that they plan on showing a second one as well. But Brent, again, we see that guard over curling. That first one from Hebert. And I'm assuming they're playing for that by this point as they've talked about it, but still... I would hope crosses so. Crosses the center line. So Johnny not going to play the chip Johnny. shot here, eh? Just, right, cross the center. I don't mind this. No, you know the center. next one's going to be on the center line. Beat him in there. This is where a lead can really take control of a game. When you have the Pretty lead, good up, boys. you're up one with, you know, up a couple, and the lead starts to put theirs in really good spots. It makes the other team's Four. job super hard. The reverse is also true. If you struggle at lead and you're up, it's going to make the other team's here, job quite simple. You go full four, even here. Anything full four foot here is real good. I'm pouring a little more inside out, so I think we just... Good yeah, result, and no reason to try to bury under that rock either, Brent. Agreed. That's not where the action is. And now Brad's not going to throw another. He's going behind it. I wonder if Johnny will then switch to the chip. It's good, cops. I would lean towards still one on the center, but maybe because of where that red one is. So here you see that it's, when it's heavy, he does the shovel there. Would you have opted to play the tick with the with Hamilton's first? Um, I'm 50-50 on it. I, I, I mean, I, if I knew he was going to put it where he did, I love that. So yeah, that's this is what I'm afraid of if I'm Brad. That's why I would have put this on the center line. It yeah, makes this chip shot. This end is all but over. Yeah, the tick shot on the second stone now. Trying to roll into the rings and move that farther from the center line. Uh, you're going to take it. And Matt throws this in turn the center of the sheet. This rock will usually get some going pretty good. Should curl a lot. Right to it. Looks pretty good. That's really good by Matt. And that's, that center guard now is just useless. They're going to have to throw another guard here. Really good scrub. Well called by Schuster, well thrown by Hamilton. Yeah. And you see, just catching a piece of that Whoa. yellow, spinning into Sorry, the guys. rings. Why are we going there now? Perfect result. And a little bonus, the, the yellow yeah. winger didn't even Either go on the paint. I think you have to now. Yeah. That is fine, yeah. Don't you guys? Because he's just making a double peel like, in the end. We could have put the center line in the last one if we're doing anything. Yeah. Oh, it's good. You can hear Brett a little confused at what the play is, but now they got her on the same page. I think now you have to go around that center guard because it's it's useless. Anything behind there is chaseable with your eyes closed. Okay, line looks good. When we talk about artists in the hey, curling hey, world, Brent, I, I know I would qualify Five. myself Almost as one. My delivery was Girl, not altogether yeah, repeatable, go, but go, you watch good. Brett Gallant throw the rock. There is isn't. An inch of him out of place, sliding out. It's so repeatable for him. Pretty simple delivery, right? And you, yeah. you wonder how much of that he got from Brad Gushu, who may have the simplest delivery out yeah. there. Like taking that off? Yeah. And then you watch yeah, somebody like Mark top, Kennedy, right? who just... Yeah, straight off. <laughs> you can't teach that. Nope. That requires, and he's practiced as much as anybody. I'd Should love nice? to take a, a new curler out Try and, and show them nobody but Mark's delivery and say, here's how you do it. No. And put now a I want you to repeat them. that. Yeah, put a helmet with a mask. You're going to need a, a beverage and a helmet. Huffman playing the peel on the top stone. Just peel on the top one here. This is risk-reward for Schuster. At some point, they'll switch gears here because if they give up a steal of one, it's not ideal, but they could also win the game here with two or three. Yeah, I like the hit. You like the hit? Yeah, that's a good way to put it, too, risk-reward like with this situation. You're not afraid of a steal of one with the one-point lead. 
Your percentages of winning the game tied up with him are still extremely high, and as you said, you can finish the game off here. So as long as you don't have a situation where you're in trouble to the point where two comes into play, yeah. You can still play pretty aggressive on your last few shots at least in this end. Especially with no real center guard. Right. And again, going back to Hebert's stone over curling once again. Hard bend. Other way. Straight. Straight. Sounds like a nose hit to me. Straight. All right, that's okay. These straightforward shots will spin you around the other sheets for scores. White leading 4-3 on Crake on sheet B in the... Another Heavy. Scotland battle on sheet D. What's up? I didn't get a eight. Eleven, maybe? Well, they're on timeout, so trying to see Stop who's down. what I color. Cooey <laughs> leading Cooey's yellow. Yeah, yeah. leading 3-2 over Schwaller. I think you can roll, like, a third Over on sheet C. Xenia Schwaller playing against Isabella Rana. Rana leading 6-4 in the seventh on the play. All games in the seventh. Pretty much in line. Here Schuster and Plies now talking through with the plan of action here. And this, Brent, is less about what we're doing right now, but what we're going to do the rest of this end. And they're just drawing here. And, I, th and I think they, they see and they feel that, hey, this is a good opportunity here. We're in control of this end with no real danger. Like, I think they're going to end up rolling under the guard. Why not? Oh, you thought we were rolling deeper they try and go under, 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 and deep Yeah, no, I mean, this thing, if it rolls kind of very, we're still... Yeah, they are. Like, he can't freeze this and I'll count that. Yeah, it's... So, depending on how hard you throw it. It's pretty high. It's only like half in the forefoot, right? Yeah. So, like, you hit and roll... Not the end of the world. You can go that way, too. I still like 10-5, though. Okay. It's a little bit higher than Brent, where do you like rolling this to, ideally? 10-5, boys. I think really good would be just kind of mostly buried behind the guard. I don't know what they're going to do next. Like, it takes away the guard. They might have to play a run back and stick it, which they're pretty good at, but... It's good! Please. I don't see any bad places yeah. <laughs> for this yeah. one, really. I mean... Really I don't like man. rolling over towards the red and leaving them the double. Hard! Come on, Maddie. Hard! Got to stay in the ring. Come on. Oh, you oh, don't want to do that. That, Absolutely. I didn't see that. Get through it fine, dude. That's, I'm just, as I'm sitting here holding room, don't stop, stop, stop. Okay, full four foot. Full eight, guys. Yep. Now that cross is all the way over. And nice, guys, yeah. It's kind of like again, thought last time, right? Huffman threw it fine. He thought he threw it good. John thought he threw it good. And I think something John was the, about to say, you know, as you're sliding out, I'm holding the broom thinking this isn't the right ice. Yeah. So John, uh, I think, was a little apologetic there, but... Especially when you're protecting the nose it there. Like, good thing they didn't get aggressive for the roller. I guess it would have been better to flash it. And Brent, again, broken record. Same type of line. That edge of four foot, middle four foot. That snapped off and surprised both teams numerous times during this game, whether it's draw or hit. Really good placement from Kenny there. Uh, I think it's, it's tempting to play that intern freeze, and then all of a sudden you miss one shot, and they get three in there. And I, I think if you make this double, even if you don't, they're going to keep guarding, and you got the whole forefoot. But they're yeah. sitting; those yellows are sitting, so that it's either a steal of two or a score of one. They're almost kind of yeah. You're, you're taking spot. steal a two out of play if you make this slash, because John's going to play that open hit on his last one. I would think. Supplies trying to run this guard into the rock in the back of the forefoot on the opposite side to lose both. Oh, it just oh, nuts nuts it in. Good double spot though now. Rock higher, that double's a lot more natural yeah. off the left one. They gotta guard the left one. I'm 26. Yeah, you are. Guarding Steel at two is still looking unlikely. Is that the play? <laughs> Jacobs, I'm assuming. He's which is guarding here. the higher stone, I, I not good the good. number one counter. Guard it up, right? What's that? Is that the one we're guarding? Yeah. You've got to guard yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. the other one's, the other one's yeah, yeah, that's a time, must. Eh? Yeah. You like that? Okay, right on the... In a, in a perfect I'm just looking for depth. Probably a three. Okay. Wow. Four plays nice. Let's go three, three and a half. Four. And we're trying to guard, like... 
That's the same so three, four, Have they created their own number system I was just going to say, I mean, three and a half, four to me is top 12. Yeah, they've got four guard positions. I guess that's their <laughs> level they play at. The old Furby number system wasn't precise enough. We need four different zones for guards. So is the is back 12s a 15 or something now? It might even be 18. I don't know how precise they get. <laughs> 15 and a half three, on the back. Three, you're a little short. I did hear Team Dropkin use a, a term that I had never heard this past season, which is space. space. Yeah, that's a new thing, right? I, did you guys ever use that? No, because I don't even for sure know what it means. I think it means it's a little bit heavy. It's or what the is space it? between the hack and the board. Oh. See, so we call that solid hack. Yeah. Or, you know, There's also there. only six feet between hack and board, so <laughs> close enough is what we call it. Is that even six feet? Yeah, I don't know. know. Some curling clubs, it's like two feet. <laughs> Oh, wow. Switching Same gears. curling club looking at you. I still like the runner on that guard. I know. I like, if we just peel this, if you're, if you're a Schuster. Yeah, I, I would play the same shot they just played. Where did they go on their last one? You have an open hit or you have a pretty yeah. makeable double? Yeah, I'm very surprised at this call here. This is, this is the type of shot that does bring two into play for Jacobs, which is the only thing you need to stay away from, right? See if they make it, make us look dumb. Oh, right to it. Right to it. Right to it. I got this one. Leave that one. Great shot. All the way, Johnny. It's got to go out. Keep going. Keep going. It's got to get out of the house. That's right. That's right. Throw across. Yeah, now they hit and roll 6-3. Oh, yeah. It does What's your get Brent, the yellows on the forefoot. Okay, we had, Brent was a little heavy. He was yeah. down the house. Yeah, he told me. A little more. Really good throw. And you're right. I mean, it opens up the score a lot easier. I mean, if he makes this roll, then Johnny's going to be able to draw down and freeze on it for shot, which is a comfortable shot. Yeah, and part of the surprise in playing that shot, too, is Chris just threw it and basically made it. I was, I was, uh, just hit nutted it. I love that cup seat. Yeah, that cup seat. Cups plenty of times. Cup seat is Cup seat? Oh, yeah. You can add a wide any name in the. That's you got a nickname in the men's. You're tour. adding it to the, already a nickname. Yeah. Cups, Brad Clay, Jacobs. Clean, Kenny. Clean, curl. Curl. In, in turn, soft way to hit. Keep going. I think you might be better off going, almost going, not to going, roll keep here. Going, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Let's see. Ten five. Yeah, if you roll, you're, you're kind of forcing John to play in the freeze. Yeah, and then you're kind of in trouble. But I'm cool with that. So now, Schuster plays I love the hit and doesn't five, roll. Know, Brad can make the is. roll and make him yeah. throw against three. Exactly. Even in the weather, it's probably not the triple. It's probably not the triple. Well, the triple might be there, but that seems crazy to me. Yeah, just make the roll under the guard. Even if you roll too far, as long as you stay shot rock. Yeah. Like, We almost never call normal. We always say ten nine. Ten nine. Let's get those like normal. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like ten five. We call it rock too, to be honest. I mean, you can do eleven five and be a lot more ice than that. A lot of talk about the rocks on this sheet too. Both teams. Can we eleven five? Oh, I love that. That's the way he I was going to say he loves it no matter what he said there as a good front ender would. That's it, that is, you hear the front well end done. saying, I hope we throw 10. He comes down 11-5. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, right? You ever say to Glenn, oh, I hate that. Do we really want to throw that? Not when he's sliding down a throw, no. <laughs> Every now and again I say, if you call that, we might lie down on the sheet. <laughs> I've said that a few times. From the booth especially. Yeah. I would lay down before I let him throw this. Intern hit and roll attempt from Schuster. Really wants to get a piece underneath the guard if he can. Hoffman trying to get it to dance a little bit. Right in the hole. They have overrolled. See from the overhead with the guard. If there is a piece. Let's get a good look at it here. If you get it open, but it's not bad. Yeah, Cups is going through the hole here. What's he talking about? Freeze. Just throwing the hit through the hole, make him draw against three. Yeah, you, you have to make him look at three counters. Yeah. John would be ecstatic if they threw the freeze here. Well, I was seeing, I was seeing ten and a half. Just through your draws in this area. It's going to be close. 
I think it's got to be close. Yeah. Brent, ideal roll is maybe six inches, right? Yeah, I mean, the closer you can get to the button without rolling open, because John's not following you through this hole against three. Yeah, so he's going to draw the forefoot. So anything through this hole with kind of, I think they call it ten and a half, which is kind of a control weight, anything through this hole is going to stay real close to there. If you get tight to the guard, it could roll too far. And then I think you'd see John probably play a hit if it was wide open in the forefoot. 2014 Olympic champion Brad Jacobs. His final stone here. Heavy, clean, in the seventh end. Clean, yep. Yep. Hard grab, hard grab. Hard Galant hard leaning grab. on this one hard early. Hard grab, hard, 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 oh, no. hard. Oh, oh, great team. Great team. Really good. That's perfect. Great sweep, guys. Great sweep by Galant. Wow, great sweep. All right. A little pressure draw here. Not comfortable. I mean, I know those kickers are only eight foot and biting the 12 foot, but up one with playing the second last end, this is not the shot you're hoping for. Just, uh, like two inches and three the inches yeah. in the yeah. Yeah, just, And mentally, too, throwing this shot, Brent. It's, it's against two. It's You know that rock is there, that, that third counter. That's still in your mind as you're throwing. This is against three, it's not against two. For sure. That's right. So you like a 10 Yeah, like a 15. Yeah, 10, 15, 15. I think John nailed it. Just draw the T line. That's don't yeah. worry where those other ones are. Keep it on the draw path. Final stone. 17. Seventh end. Schuster leading by one, trying to increase that lead to two. Asked for a 15, got a 17. Curling early. Panic. Sweepers on this hard. Really need to go. We're not even close. Loveless. Wow. You gotta get it in. What are they doing? Why are they not sweeping that stone? It's, it's in the house. It's in the house. My sorry, goodness. God, sorry. Wow. Gotta pay attention there. Ends up being a steal of two, nearly three. So Jacobs takes the lead after seven, five to four, going on to the eighth end. What a game. Comes to the game we love. Having the right gear makes all the difference. Goldline's new curling shoes and brooms are a game changer. The shoes, unbelievably comfortable. And the brooms, lightweight and effective, giving you control on every sweep. When I step onto the ice, I'm not just prepared. I look sharp. Have you seen these shoes? They are a game changer. And the brooms, light as a feather. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. Well, we've started off day one with some wild action here. The first game for both of these teams. Schuster stealing two in the fifth. Jacobs getting two in the sixth and stealing two of his own in the seventh. Score now 5-4. Jacobs leads going to the eighth end of play. And Brent, we're, uh, we're kind of throwing our hands in the air here with uh, the last half of this game. Uh, fun for commentary purposes, but... Yeah, we've seen some wild swings in the, the last three ends. Definitely entertaining, and that was uh, that was a strange finish to that end to drop off on one where you just had to be half in the 12, and they're only like a, a rock and a half away from cutting it to one. And they asked for a 415 split. He said 417, and I don't know. It's uh, I don't know what's going to happen next. That's the good news. We're going to find out. So now Team Jacobs back in the driver's seat. Up one. Without the hammer, you're going to see lots of rocks in play. Best way to defend against two is usually double centers. Benny hasn't been able to hit the center line today, however. It's been a bit of an anti-magnet. Is this one to stop? Very close. Seems like every end we play in the fresh side and get the clock. <laughs> All right, we are drinking nice stuff tonight. The, the swear jar funds are after hours. I, I'm going to send you down to collect, sure. Brent. As long as they win, I'll go get it straight from Ben. <laughs> if they lose, I might wait. So Ben's guard is fine. It looks like it's touch and center, but it's where do you throw the next one? You almost got to throw it in the 12-foot buried. Like there's, yeah, it's a little too deep for a double stack on that line. Going right to the forefoot. And if you're Brad and you throw this in the top of the 12 foot, you don't have any problem with 
Schuster chasing that stone, so you're not worried about if they can hit it or not. If they want to hit it, then that's perfectly fine. So. Okay, you got looking down at the ice line. after that one, as if he keep your head up. thought maybe yeah. something got under it. Right could be looking path. for the curling okay? gods, too. Okay. <laughs> He's looking the right direction, then, because we know where they are. Short of the rings, they were trying to go four foot. Good. Good. Hits the brakes late okay. there. And touching center. Now yeah, that's really important for that shot. It's, Is it just here? Yeah. Now you're well, forced to so. come around for Schuster. More. If you don't, probably want to get Brad certainly is going to. If you can. Yeah. Close to it. I don't hate going around the corner guard right now. Because that one just stayed open, if they get around it, you'll have the nose double. But this is also a good call. I think if you go around the corner now, it's kind of going to be there all end. Matt just threw the corner guard. He should be able to make the come around, but this is a good call. Out turn come around from Hamilton. At some point, Jacobs is going to use that rock that Ben just threw. Might as well get behind the other one. Finish it. That's a really good spot. Pulled the double dip last season with the men's and mixed doubles national championship for Matt. What a shooter, eh? Just running the table. His winning never gets old. Full of energy, obviously, too, because that's a lot of curling late in the year. Those world championships are a grind. And Matt got to play the uh, the mixed doubles worlds in the same building. He won the 2008 Junior Worlds. That's pretty cool. It's a good history in that building. I got to play the mixed doubles worlds in the same building. You stole my gold medal. <laughs> And the same thing happened. We lost to the U.S. in the semi. We lost the bronze medal yeah, game. I, we've Please. petitioned to have a, at least one world event in that venue every year now. So. I, I'm not really like into arson, but I'd like to burn that place down. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Corey dropped and Corey T.C. winning the mixed doubles worlds. And were they ever really? Yeah. They played unreal. This might be right. You guys like that? Just trying to go over the top here. What that, kind of weight? Uh, nine five. It seems Ten. right to me. Just trying to roll. And, yeah. I think it's important you save your shooter here. They can hear us here in the booth, just so you know. <laughs> they wear earpieces, yeah, sure. He's overcurled on some interns. I know it's been some spots, but that's looking soft to me. A little inside on release. Yeah, that's turning early. Guys trying to hold the line. Okay. Little fortunate. Does leave the shooter up there. Not bad. Yeah, that's not a terrible result for Schuster. Kind of chokes that corner off, but that's probably not really in play with the two centers. Pretty likely that most of the action is going to be going to the center the rest of the way. Let's see what Brad's thinking. Just draw the shot, guys. He plants that red one. You can't draw here. You want to be even with that. You can't draw here. If I like the hit. Neither team has used a timeout in this game. I'd be interested how this team handles that kind of conversation because last year with Brendan as skip, that conversation wasn't allowed to happen. Right. But I think that took away one of Brett's biggest strengths, and that's seeing the game from the other end. I like a little more. So Brad seems to be asking Brett quite a bit so far this game. I think they found the right call here. You, you can't leave this red one there and play the draw and let him make that same runner for July 2. I also don't think Schuster's playing that double, do you? I don't know why he would. I doubt it. Maybe trying to plant the seed in his head. Could be a little gamesmanship. We've never done that. No way. Point. <laughs> I don't like well, they this are looking call. At I think you draw and then this is always there and that's open. I, I don't know why they think they need to clear that yellow unless they think they're going to use the corner at some point, which seems unlikely. Getting late for that, yeah. This, yeah. Is, yeah. this isn't like an automatic... Oh, he's throwing it soft, too. Got it. 
I don't think he's trying to hold it now. Well, that's a pretty good result. Pretty good. See, to me, and maybe I'm just not a hitter, but I think I could just draw it there easier. I was thinking that's a tougher way to get there, right? And that's the spot you want to be in right now, too, is top button behind those two guards. You see, perfect position now, but that's that's the long route. That's the scenic route. A little harder to get to that spot. So teams get two timeouts. Time it out. is the slam thinking time, so they only get their clock running when they're talking. They get a 90-second timeout. I think their coach can come out. If you make a good freeze, Paul Webster. He's still looking okay for two. My only other thought was, can you ever come down here and move it? Oh, jeez, that looks hard. I'm just thinking like a back eight. Try to, try to get this behind the T-line. Isn't that a better shot, maybe, than me, Sean Rock? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sold on a straight freeze. Okay. If this no. was here, yeah. Hey, it's the right shot. Let's talk about how to make it. You like that shot back? Yeah. Not even looking at Webby yet. Yeah. Just disrespecting the coach. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. 13? Is that thir like 13, boys? Oh, well, there's another drink like, on Benny. It's, back well. yeah, it's almost like 13 and a half. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is, back ball, back ball. 13 is too much for this shot. It's a I bit of an all or nothing here. 13 and a half. And yeah. I mean, I think the way to make it is throw it good and call it right. I just don't want to over <laughs> I know. Throw it good and call it right. Way to make like every it. shot. I like it. Good if we throw the right weight on the right line and we don't miss the sweeping call, I think we're going to be good. Yeah, I, I think we for the swear jar, I think we need to institute the NBA's apron system, where once you go over a certain level, then it escalates. <laughs> oh, I thought you maybe got a discount. <laughs> no, no, it, it increases as you go. Okay. There's no frequent flyer award for this. This is for our benefit. I think we get to set the rules, so I'm yeah. in for that. So a big shot here. It's like the luxury tax is what we're talking about. Okay, fair enough, the Yankee tax. Yeah. <laughs> So he's throwing enough weight here that if he doesn't get the right line, it's going to get them absolutely nothing. You like the positive reinforcement from Mark when we, we play it against him over the years. It's always the, yeah, it's great. Okay, here's how we do it. Yeah. It's never, a, it never finishes with a negative comment. With easy, easy. No! 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 to get this to turn over to catch a big piece of that red. That's a good shot. Like that result. Didn't get shot, but where that yellow one is, the that's the key. And getting that red one behind the T-line and fairly open. See how much they can see of this yellow now. Not much. That's a really good shot. Should be able to get in there, see. Everybody the guard by a what True, happened? they did get by the guard by six or eight inches. I'll come in no what, here, Matt. I like how they called the sweep all the way down to uh, Brent. Again, what we talked about earlier with okay. the yeah. curl straight, that. curl straight. Instead, it was clean and then finish late. Yes, sir. I heard Colin say there to Matt, I'm going to pivot here no matter what, as in, this is a big shot. Get out of my I'm way. Sweep it. Yeah. 13 and if I, if I'm in that spot, I, I would have asked him to do that first if he didn't say that. How's that not already just decided? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? That's what we're doing? <laughs> and here goes Huffman trying to get this to turn. Really over it to curl. curl. Great shot. Oh, that's so good. Oh, this is a great shot. That's a weapon on that broom. Huffman really got that one dancing. Look at this thing finish with that weight. I actually thought he had it over curl. <laughs> Great shot by Plies. That's just the perfect weight that allows the sweepers to make that shot for you. It's a great shot. If they freeze the back, are they out counting us? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the top one's barely on the floor. The top one's your second point. Now you got to work on the first point. Yep. Miss this one, Mark. Is that, <laughs> is that Matt? Yeah. Oh boy. At least it's just under his breath to himself, so he thinks. Not to the rest of the world. 
Hey, Matt, Matt guess Moore, what? We don't please. always turn the Ruth. mics off immediately. Please, Matt Moore. Ruth. <laughs> I can't blame him for that, Tom. Oh, hey, that's just, everybody's <laughs> thinking it. He just said it out loud. Maybe we're just so in tune with him now we can hear his thoughts. You know? so intern tap. Good position there. Yeah, really good spot there, Brent, because the tap jamming on that back stone will still be second count. How much can he see here? Like, do you ever just hit that and tick, tick, the red, the yellow, everything at the back's gone, and you got that one lonely one top floor? I don't know if he can see enough, but... Yeah, it depends on how much he can see. Both teams getting a little low on time now. Schuster with less than a minute. They, they do have their called. timeouts. But yeah, why wouldn't they call one yet? Assume they're just planning to use them on their last two, but really the, the last shot's the one you figure you know. This is the one they should have used yeah. it on for sure. I hope they've looked. It's not... It has happened where people just haven't noticed and they've run out of time. Only like 39 seconds for their last two, but with the timeouts. Sounds good. Oh, overcooked it a bit. Jeez, wow. How are those two? Nice try there, Chris. Yeah, fantastic shot by Plies. World's most interesting man and a good curler. <laughs> Tough part, apparently, was sliding back down the sheet yeah, as he almost, almost fell. took a digger going back down. What a shot that is. So look at this coming in here. Like, there's not even room to roll low. Just papers by the second one. My goodness. I think it's better to roll low. I think that's pretty perfect. Yeah. If we left it in front, no. In front of the inside. Yeah. That might be the best. Jacob's at 40 seconds remaining himself. He's got a timeout. We'll see. If Schuster doesn't call a timeout right here, then he doesn't know he's slow on time. <laughs> Um, Matt's talking about it. Hate to see this wild one end with going out of, somebody running out of time, but it might be fitting. Give us a good story. One more little mental mistake. Hey Brent, remember the first game we ever called together? And either team ran out of time. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Keep going. Trying to carry this to get to a freeze on this line. Really want to out count the top one. Pretty good spot to use. So, can he get to the nose of that again? Well, we know he can because they just did. I see two shots. We can draw here. Or you got the same thing, Chris? Tap that. Tap this in here. Yeah, if it was tapped in the wrong spot, though, it's just a clear that. Another thing is shooter is not gonna, you know what I mean, like up counting. No, it'll stay for another town potentially. Yeah, but we roll off it's not. Okay, that's it. This is where you don't can't be talking about the miss at this point. It's last end and we're trying to win the game, so what's the best shot? But like I said, if there's there's a place that can go where it's not great though. The thing is about that if he plants this, it's kind of to do anything with it. If he plants the yellow, if he plants it, we just draw a game for two. I mean, I mean sure. can I see the edge of that? No. no. Yeah, Again, it's missing something. Yeah, I, I think it's either here or this. Is my, but that this might need a second here time out here. Out here. We like to, I like that's the little bump on that yeah, red one. If you bump it yeah, into the nose, even if you get a little separation, it's going to be hard for him to kill them both. Right. I mean, Likely it spills out. There's a couple jams, but, and then this uh, yellow is pretty has, open. No, I think sure. you want to sit two right now. Agreed. I think we're looking like 14. So I think there's way more options with the tap than the straight draw. Plus, you can stay in the better. Meanwhile, the biggest upset of this week so far, Kevin Cooley has eight minutes left on his clock with one rock left to throw. Well, they're only three players, so maybe they're only throwing six. 4-2 lead in that game for Cooley as well. Zinia Schwaller, Isabel Arana tied 6-6 in the eighth. White with the 6-3 victory over Craig and she'd be. 95. So going a little wider here, I would be a little concerned. At 95, you heard on the split, so 395. That's plenty of weight for this shot. That's where we're going. 
That's a little there. different. It's all there. Need to Close stop the still. It's all there. Yes! Not bad. Okay. Well, not great. It's not out counting that not bad good. yellow one. Good job by Plies still making sure they're by. Because if that clicks that rock in the top of the forefoot, could have left an in-off double for Jacobs. Brad's got a very simple shot to lie to here. And Johnny's going to have that same draw to go extra. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, it does. Well, yeah. I, I, well, and even I, if it doesn't, too, Brent, your shot. And it's buried, right? But we we lie too. Guys, guys it's, it's just about hitting it in the right spot. I think it's about if planting it, if it in the right spot. If it hits here with normal, we're fine. It's just about sticking it. So I, I think I, I don't want to go too thick. Webby out for the timeout again. I'm gonna have to talk to him after. Tell him to talk a little okay. less. So I'm just thinking normal quarter. I think he's hit the exact amount of words that they asked him to give. That could be the expectation. Right on the nose. Could be. It's the salute from Muddy, David Murdoch in the building. Still can never get used to seeing the Canadian maple leaf on his jacket. <laughs> strange, jackets. isn't it? Yeah. Fifth to a quarter, kind of thing? Of course, that's coming from a guy who played a game with Al Hackner wearing USA against Canada. <laughs> True story. I'll tell you about that one later. Jacob's final stone. Yeah, here in the eighth end. Playing the short intern slash. Guts it in. Great shot. Sitting two. Thanks. Sweet. Oh, Don't see. Like playing this. If this thing spins enough to go this direction. If you're doing that, I think it's this. Yeah, I no, think it's the this. yellow one. I guess that's not it's hard either. The only thing is it has to go. I know. You have to chop it backwards. I mean, that's, this one's got so much spin, it's kicking out. This one will out count it if this stays. Right. Sounds like, like they're going to talk themselves into trying this. this. It's going like that. Is it, right. Is that's fine. Sure? Well, that flies out of there if it hits it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's touching. It's whether or not it goes flying or not. I don't know that there's much drag. It's yeah, it's like... Well, we're talking about it. To me, John, if you're playing it, it looks like the yellow one. I agree with yeah. Colin here. Because the yellow gives yeah. you a way better angle. The red's going to run out of steam yeah, across the top. It kind of looks like that to me. Okay. You guys don't think it makes... I don't think it's... I don't think I'm sure enough it makes it to throw it. Yeah, I think it might be. I think this is probably no. the correct shot. They're not sure that it's there. You guys had 95s on Obviously, you yep. want to play so for the win if you can. The they yeah, will yeah, play yeah, the draw to the button yeah. for a single point. Trying to send this to an extra end. Same path he just threw, but even when he was heavy, it overcurled a bit, so... Not an easy draw. Not that there is an easy draw to the button, but it's light to me. Seven. I liked it. Six. Keep it straight. Always Always straight. Hit the tee line. Needs to be on the tee. Getting a piece of the button for the tie. Get to the extra end. Curl, 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 curl. Got to curl. Stop. Got to curl. It's good. Good job, John. Great shot. And really well done by Schuster to the wow. side of the button. Wow. So we'll get some bonus curling here. Draw two of the Grand Slam Curling Hearing Life Tour Challenge. Schuster and Jacobs headed to an extra end. I've stood at the pinnacle of curling and battled in the most intense games. Out on the ice, there's no room for compromise. And when the pressure's on, every millimeter counts. It's not just a game. It's about maximizing performance, pushing limits, seizing victory. When victory hangs in the balance, 
I know what I'm relying on. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. It's a gold line. And it's the choice of champions. Extra end action here. Draw number two. Feature matchup, John Schuster and Brad Jacobs. 5-5 five, five after eight ends. Jacobs will have the all-important hammer in the extra end. Tyler George here with three-time world champion Brent Lang. And Brent, this game's been like hot potato going back and forth. It's only fitting. It? It's only fitting we get an extra end after this up-and-down game. Some great shots, some not-so-great shots. And looks like there's one more extra end game. We got Team Cooey with the hammer against Team Schwaller playing the extra end. And... Looks like uh, Zinnia Schwaller stole the last end to beat uh, Orano from Sweden. And um, we already said White won the second Battle of Scotland of the morning. There's too many good Scottish teams now. There's four in the slams, which is awesome for Scotland. Not great for the rest of the world. It should be close, right? It's not heavy. See if Muzzy can hit the center line here. Give it a sec. Hamilton throwing the intern guard. It's all straight of anything, so it's never curled. They're trying to throw two, so want this as deep as they can get it while still touching the center line. And that's going to go off the center, so Brent, I think you pretty much have to play the tick now in this situation. Absolutely. Here's Ben wants a little more room <laughs> to bounce this rock to. <laughs> This is the stone that they've been saying they believe is a cutter. We believe that too from the results of the shot throughout the game. Sounds made. A good shot there by Hebert. Spins it on the paint as well. It's well done. Got to hit the center line here now if you're Matt. Half. Just better than halfway, six feet short on the center line. Curl, get it moving. Get it going. Easy. Game's going now. Keep going, I think. Where are we at? Keep going. I don't see this stopping short of the center line. You got to go hard. It's on the line. Easy, easy, easy. Might overcurl the center line, fellas. Very good. Perfect spot. And hangs on, so that rock will stay right there. Oh, Bradley, can't be serious. You're going to roll through the top 12 behind a center guard to get... Another thing is, we need to hit it. I just don't want to do that. Yeah, no doubt. Easy. Yeah, he doesn't want to roll there. I don't like this call even in a little bit. I'm not sure what that stone like, is doing Peel it out if you, you want, but rolling to top eight buried is a nightmare. Wait, oh, wait, 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 see if the curling gods wait, teach him a lesson. Wait, 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 wait. Soft weight in turn hit from Hebert. Oh, 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 it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Just ridiculous. Oh, fuck you, man. Sorry. Like, what are we doing? Center. That's now essentially <laughs> serving as another guard for Schuster. Close. I think it's pretty close. That, that can't happen with a team with that kind of experience. Uh, what is? The, what are we gaining? Uh, it's a. It's a shot that you're, you're not really sure exactly what you're accomplishing. Are we getting with pumped them? today? Like, are these guys in on something? <laughs> anyway, huge opportunity here now. Colin, go right yeah. to the button. I mean, we've been out of the game for a bit. Maybe, maybe things have changed. changed. Come on, man. Just setting Brett up for the red, yellow, red game winner, I guess. <laughs> Outturn draw here from Huffman. Going around that rock. Perfect. That just right thrown at the, the top of the eight foot. Really good, guys. Comes out the other side a little bit. Ah, a little too far. Look at the finish on the ice. I can't comment on the speed because it looks like they've struggled a bit, so maybe it's tricky. But, man, there looks like plenty of curl, which is always fun to make any shot. Yeah, the path that's been the most consistent all game, too, has been the draw of the button path. We haven't seen a whole lot of difference. We talked about the difference in 
which are snapping and which aren't when you get inside that line. But that button path has been true. Schuster with a beautiful draw to the side of the button on his last. An eight to get us here. As papers by that rock at the top of the eights, trying to make that double to clear it open. Straight in front of this yellow one now. That yellow one is your the hit and roll there is the best guard you could hope for. Yeah, that's your saver. That's the that's the stone that is going to give them the most trouble the rest of this end. So easy call here for John to guard that stone in the top of the eight foot. Feels heavy. Too big. Too big. Don't want to give him an angle and don't want to get these too close together. Even if this is a high guard. Line will be okay, but it's curled. It looked like it needs to finish up a little bit. Gotta go. Pretty close. I don't want too much more depth on it. Gotta go. It's pretty good. Good spot. Yeah. Good spot. Good shot, Colin. Yeah, Love it. Least. A foot or two higher, but. Love to make some noise, but. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Your best way it would be with your in. Kind of have to, though. In a little bowl. Okay. This isn't Best heading in a great step, direction. Yeah. yeah, if you roll okay. to a corner, you're good here. You just really want to move both of those stones and get the center open. There's not a lot of spots where you can not get the back one and leave both centers, so it can't really end up a ton worse. That was always what I looked for as a second. <laughs> yeah. Can I really okay. screw us yeah. here? <laughs> How bad could I mess this up? And, uh, I, well, actually, oftentimes I'd look up at the guys and it's like, is this one you want me to get after? Yeah. Usually they're like, no, 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 no. Save it for yeah. the better shooter at third. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, for me it was, can we have the guy in front of me that throws it harder do it first? Well, hey. Can you make it so I don't have to do right. it? Right. Look, if you don't make it, we're switching to the draw the button. So <laughs> yeah. You want to sleep that? You, you, you're joking, but I mean, that was probably what we did a considerable amount of the time. Credit to John for putting us in the best position to succeed. Applies outturn guard, replacing that one that Huff went through. Just get the line right. It's just short right of the sign. Late in the game, you got to keep a broom on these. I don't think so. I don't, I don't ready. I'm ready. Just, just needs clean. Yep, yep. Yep. Good. A little more. Nice spot. Another great guard. Very good spot, see? Yeah, perfectly placed. You really, Brett, got to make contact with that second stone on one of these shots. Try this. Should run pretty straight. Again, even the dead nose probably kills the back one, so. There's not a lot of terrible results if you're close to where you want to hit this. I don't really know anybody better at these shots. Mark Kennedy intern run. Yep. Seeing how many he can get moving. Yep, yep. Hard. 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 Shooter. Great job, That's Aaron. pretty good. Good as that. Mark Kennedy. Still not out of the woods, yeah, but it's a hell of a baby shot. Three. You can see the clearing three. now. Took a baby peek. Three, four. She's just still going to replace three, that guard. Really want it pretty much directly in front of that red. Uh, so I it agree. staggers a little with the yellow. Past the yellow. Then you, you're making Brad really think, close. do I want do to not. slash the, ahead, the outside one and try to get all of them? But if you don't make contact with the second one, you're kind of hooped. Three, yeah, so you want a little three, separation. Three. You don't want to put this just past it where it's an immiscible double three, peel. Three, yeah, it needs to be tight. This has got to yep, stay straight. Yep, 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 yep. Break the stop. It's got to stop, stop curling. It's got to stop curling. Yep. Nice. That's yeah, a good spot. It's a good shot. shot by Ply's perfect position. Yeah, now Chance you're, to win the game, you're, though. You're putting it in front of him and saying, I dare you to play that slash. And it's pretty short, but if you ever stick it or miss the second one, now you're looking at a little more dire straits. So what, I don't understand what you're waiting for, though. This is the opportunity to win the game. You can straight deal. I guess I can get them all. Yeah. Pardon? I can get them all. You win the game if you I, make I, I it, most likely. Okay, okay. To me, it looks like I'm giving Mark the green light here, too. Just show me. Show me. If I hear him say I like that one, I'm letting him throw it. 100%. Well, what, the other question is, what's the plan? So you peel the red when they put it back. Are you drawing on Brad's first? Probably have to draw on his first. Thing, so yeah. is this more likely? Like, 
I don't know. I, I, I like Mark giving this a go. I mean, to dead nut it, he's going to make contact with the second one. So if you get really unlucky and dead nut it, yeah, you're in bad, sh bad shape, but they probably have to go in and then you have your color to run in. So Mark's going to make this anyway. Steve Kennedy can put on the cape. Yep. Lose all three of these stones. Hogan. Out turn run. Hogan! Hogan! Shooter! 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 Gets him both moving that still. That's a good result. Yeah, I'm happy if I'm Schuster there. I was expecting to get them all, so that's a, a mini miss for Mark. And maybe a little fortunate didn't just nut in and leave the guard there, which would have been worst case scenario for. Yeah, if he missed Jacobs. a little closer than yeah. what he was trying, he would have nutted, yeah. right? Needs a good guard here. The back one at this point is not the concern. You need a guard that's usable. 13. Can't be high. Yes. Uh, yeah, Needs to be hearing yards. life. Yep. Yes. Logo depth. Mine's almost more important than depth here. Okay. Oh, he's totally disagreeing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're on the center line just over I mean, the hog line, I don't think you're going to love it. Personally, I want both. Yeah. True. I don't think one is really more important. And plus, you don't get the line without the right speed, so. <laughs> All of three. Three, maybe four. Three. I mean, like they three, mentioned three, earlier in the game, you, know, you want to throw it well and sweep three. it well. Right, and you make it, right? Maybe four. You make that line call, and yeah, everything's right. <laughs> this is curling. Really just tight guard. That's why they pay us the big bucks. Right? Looks That's good. That's a good shot, shot from John. Good shot. So now what? Are we drawing now? Decision time for Brad. That is pretty much a perfect guard. Yeah, with that corner guard where it is for yellow it takes that drop path away too just playing the run not so, much hesitation from Brad yeah there are bad results here you could plug this like just hair across and nut it and the shooter doesn't go very far it's hard to hit and hard to miss the back one and not roll far enough so that's the only real danger is I think stuffing it in there and your, your worst error is anywhere near nose, too. And if that guard stays, John's going to have a chance to repeat it yep. and put it on top of the bucket instead, even if you lose the back. Jacob's playing the run, trying to lose oh. both reds. Great. Curl, His first here curl. in the extra end. Curl! 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 curl. Shooter! 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 Oh, what a Great shot. Job. Great, Great job. shot by Jacobs. That will assure that he has a straightforward shot for the win. That's so well done. Absolutely perfect by Brad. So I had a 22 on the last. So we need uh, that same 05. Yeah. Get a big chunk of the forfeit here. You want to leave this probably a little piece open? Uh, probably not. Show him a third. I think we'd be draw. a bit of an awkward draw, even if you bury it. Kind of has to follow you because I, I, I think that's staggered hole. Yeah. So if you're if you're showing a third, I think you want it to be top yeah. four. Yeah. Because the way that's staggered, getting shot if it's on the T line is going to be a lot easier shot than top. Absolutely. Schuster's final stone. In turn draw. See how much they decide to bury under this guard. Unfortunate that this carnival has to end, but it does. So you're lobbying for 10 ends. Nothing, 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 nothing. It's got a curl. Really good. It's got a curl. Very nice, Johnny. Not bad. A little deeper, I think, than they would have Rock too deep, but you got to make him shoot at least. That's a good shot. See how much Brad can see. True shots. Yeah, I mean, you got a ton of room for the draw. It's a little line sensitive. Okay. So that tells you Brad really doesn't want to throw the draw here. If that's what he's looking for. Okay, Phil. Get me here. Now that we talked about the run immediately, which is definitely a little surprising. Mark looks like he's still the leaning towards the run. That's that. good for me. Okay. Oh boy. I think it's 14 and a half. He's still not totally sure on the speed. 14 and a half? Yep. But I didn't like any good finder, as I said. You, you lie to him when you get there. Whatever number you tell him, you believe it like you know it. There is room to chap off here, but if he does think that, 
it's not going to get the line to do it. Right. So playing the cold draw. Looks like Team Cooey. Oh, there's still two more rocks to come, but they're in pretty good shape here. Final stone of this opening round matchup. Brad Jacobs trying to draw the button for the win. In turn side. Two of the best in the world on the broom for him. Sweeper's problem now. They liked it early. This is running a little bit, but sweepers like it. And Hebert guiding this one in. Looks to be perfect. Perfect draw to the T line. A couple more to victory. A couple more for the booth. And that is a final. Brad Jacobs, 6 5 with the win over John Schuster in a wild first matchup. Brent, if our whole tenure through the slams together is going to be like this, it's going to be tiring. It's going to be a lot. That was emotional, even for us. But a uh, great start, lots of entertainment. Can't wait for the next one. And that will conclude our coverage for this draw coming up next. You got Brent and I again, just in case you, you needed more. Could be Constantini versus Anderson in the next feature matchup. All games again streamed on Home Team Live here from the Grand Slam Curling Hearing Life Tour Challenge. Tyler George and Brent Lang signing off. Thanks for watching.